I think I might have the last like eight Amberlynn videos that I've watched on here recorded. So I might just I might just take all of that and make it like a super upload on YouTube that's like five hours long or whatever. It's probably gonna be like three hours or something. <clears throat> we got four videos to watch. Unfortunately, each 15 minutes, an hour of content. Maybe I'll speed it up, because... Fuck. Binging update, target haul, and negative thoughts. Vlog. Uh, chicken and a biscuit. Uh, cook with me, making mistakes, and what is wrong with my lung? Question mark. Vlog. Uh, meet Mellowlin. This is... In Delta 8 reflecting about life vlog I fell and hurt myself I, I've fallen and I can't get up done with Weight Watchers that's unfortunate to hear spoilers um, and best ice cream ever vlog uh, surely you're talking about some nice uh, Ben and Jerry's am I right some cookie dough Ben and Jerry's. You should take a gummy so it kicks in the same time as Mel Lynn vlog. I can't. I got too much stuff to do. Because I didn't do anything yesterday. I was hoping I would have time to do a Metal Gear Solid stream today. I don't know if that'll happen. Giving yourself a nickname is cringe. Yeah, yeah, she can't make up the names. Alright. <laughs> Binging update. Target all and negative... Negative thoughts. I, <laughs> I hate those. I hate those negative thoughts. 1080 premium, enhanced bitrate. The quality? The quality? All right. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. <laughs> not me LOLing because you see that little sh You're not allowed to say not me blank. You're not allowed to change. You're not allowed, you're not allowed, you're not allowed to be. String, like modern. poking out that you're supposed to hang on the hanger. Just chilling on my chesticles. So as you guys know, I'm trying to daily upload. What is it? For 15 what is days. That? So today would be day three. A ribbon? And I was going into it like, should I do like a lot of what I ate today videos? I literally just got done editing yesterday's video, which was day one on Weight Watchers, what I ate today. And I was like, I cannot do that. Did friend. you take five hours to edit it? Every single day. Like that is not. So am I to Spotify for... This is up, upping the price of premium. Um, YouTube premium is also going up a little bit in price. I think it's now thirteen ninety nine a month. But if Spotify is going to go up, you should just switch over to YouTube premium and get YouTube music for free with it. And then you'll never see an ad on YouTube again because they're cracking down on ad blockers anyway. And if you use an ad blocker, then you must hate me. Something that like sounds enticing to me at all in any sort of way. Um, so this isn't just going to be a bunch of what I ate today videos. You must videos. want me to fail. That's not what's happening. <laughs> Y'all editing this is torture. Just seeing this stare me down. Ugh. I just want to fix it and move it, but I can't. It's driving me crazy. So I just had to make that very clear. I'm actually Shut currently the fuck up, editor Lynn. uploading that video because I just got done editing it. So then I'm going to schedule it for it to go up for you guys. I, I am Hulu with my Spotify. Cancel it. You don't need it. Like on time. If you get YouTube premium, you just watch YouTube videos forever and ever. Videos. What do you need Hulu um, for? So yeah, today's actually the 21st of July. And just to prove my point, that's fine. A bonus crew done. If you're gonna, if you're gonna watch here, my videos with an ad block, just like phone. send me a hundred bits a month. Calendar <laughs> on my computer, but there's just so many like personal things on there uh, that I just here. like. I'm like, nah. But here you can see it is the 21st <laughs> of July. So I'm actually about to go to Target because I have ran out of ink oh, in good, my black good. pens. Before you leave that apartment, oh, really? you better. Yeah. Sakura Dix sang. Just paying for the ADS. <laughs> Use that block and you can't stop me. Oh, no, that's fine. You've, you've done plenty. That's 100 sure bits of Fix that shirt first, girl. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And I need new pens. Oh, like, my God. Wait, hold on. I know we're getting off topic here from, from watching the thing. But, uh, yeah, Raylan, if I ever, like, pull up, like, YouTube on the TV and I'm, like, not logged in or whatever. 
it's all there's like I'm like oh my god these ads whole every video every video's got ads on it oh my god like I have been journaling so much it has helped me through this time more than you know journaling? more than you know I everything about journaling is not only therapeutic but it's satisfying sometimes it could be hard but it's just like worth it so I need new pens yeah lo so I can continue opening journaling. up a fresh fresh instance of youtube without any logging in or any kind of like cookies or anything and it's like mr beast uh fucking five minute crafts and then like the ha the rest of it is like all indian content because that is very very important to me it's also important that you fix your damn shirt jimmy fallon yeah all the late I night i just go back from target and, and you'll never believe i forgot not only my phone my camera, my purse, that is a rarity for me. Gray. Um, <laughs> that's weird. I like, okay, forgetting my camera, that's understandable, but forgetting my phone, <laughs> my phone's Where'd, attached to me. Where'd she go? Constantly. Target? So. No, you just fucking had it delivered or something. You just had, you paid someone to go to Target for you. Come on. That's. Who's believing that? Who's who the fuck is believing that? I went to Target. Oh, I was gonna film it, but I forgot everything that is capable of recording video. Ah, dang. I do have a little Target haul. First thing I got is the Paper Mate Ink Joy yeah, Gel. Yeah, I can't imagine her walking, her walking over to Feline's car without her phone. Like, wouldn't you think? Like, oh. Let me grab my phone and wallet. Like, she probably has one of those fucking things where, like, the wallet's, like, attached to the phone or something. Uh, <laughs> like, black pens. So I can get to journaling again. My last black pen literally ran out of ink. Middle of a word last night. I was oh so sad. Oh, my God. How dare it <laughs> run out in the middle of a word? I also got blush. I love a blush moment. I'm wearing a little bit right now. I'm wearing NYX. Putty? Um... But I wanted to try this e.l.f. one. And this is in the color Bora Bora. You're telling me the elves so, made this? Just saying. I also got my favorite eyeliner. A lot of people ask, what's your favorite eyeliner? It is the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. Jet black. It's from it's elves? It's what I wear literally every day. Besides, not right now because I'm doing like a purple, like a dark purple moment. Oh good, an 888 number tell. calling. And as I was in the journals. I you suspect Wipey is actually gone? That sounds that sounds about right. I could see that being being the case. Oh my! All these cuties. Less than a week Daily till chirps my birthday, with this cute everybody. Bird, like look how Forget everyone else's but then birthday. This one. It says, "Stay golden." Look how adorable that doggo is. So yeah, I've been journaling a That's lot. That's a lab. So I make That's use of all my lab. journals. Don't be getting mad. Okay, you guys. So you playing I playing MGS or what? I was, I was hoping I'd be able to get to do that after this, but I don't know now. We'll the Lego. See. It's like a retro phone moment. And here is the little phone device. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Oh, my God. I just no, am having the like time shit. of my life. And I'm already starting another Get the real fucking one. Legos. Not this trash. Looks like it's falling apart. This shit doesn't even fit together right. Fun. Yes, I am. Like these wannabe Legos are definitely. Aren't, aren't we moving? What's going so on here? It's much cheaper well, than. Amberlynn Graham Bell. The actual what? Lego brand. Like I can complete five of these. Now, if it was a working phone, then then I'd be on some. You'd For the on, same you'd be price. Something there. Of just like one Lego. Sometimes even six. Yeah, but look at how shit. It's five times shittier than a Lego. Like. You never know. Like, looks like trash. These. Chicken and I'm about biscuit? to have like a serving or two. A uh, serving is 12 cracker Crackers. Crackers, folks. They're crackers now. Crackers. Oh, my God. These are chicken and a biscuit. Fucking sickos. And when I was like... If wifey's gone, how wild must it be for her to watch these vlogs where ALR is pretending she's still there? Yeah, that's kind of funny. A little girl. I'm talking like five, six, seven. When I still lived with my parents. 
for Thanksgiving, before Thanksgiving, like while the turkey was in the oven, while the mashed potatoes were being cooked, you know, the whatever we had for like the main meal. Right. They would do like an appetizer thing. They would have like olives out. They would have salamis. They salamis? They would have cheeses. They would They'd have, have salamis? Crackers. These crackers. Always these Slum crackers. Salami mommies? So, as a little girl, I <laughs> got the soprasada. Related all these foods with they got the just super Thanksgiving. So, the super so stuffing and turkey and cranberry sauce, like all of that, I would just correlate that as, oh, Holy. you only have it like one time a year. And I felt the same way about these crackers. And then I think I was like 17. I'm just like walking in the cracker aisle. It was very rare that I was at a grocery store, I'll tell you that. And I saw these. And it was like in the middle of summer. And I was like, oh! oh. <laughs> I was shocked. In the middle of the cracker aisle? Shocked for sure. These little guys. So you're saying that you were a fucking idiot. Is that the story? You're, you're, you're dumb? Like. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh! I thought they only sold these at Thanksgiving. So freaking good. And I feel like for 12. That's a lot of cracker. I had three. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Before I started filming. Okay, so. I, That's, this is what they say about me anyway. <laughs> I want to go through my dishes and stuff because a lot of them I'm not keeping. And there was stuff up there. Couldn't reach them. But my lovely ex-girlfriend. <laughs> my friend Feline. Oh, that's hard to say. Your bestie. Um, she got this stuff down. These were in here. I forgot I even have these plates. Like, what? We're way up there. But since I am overly short, I could not see them, cannot reach them. Like, this is me standing straight. Like, that is what I see at eye level. <laughs> like, that's how short I am. So, yeah. I'm about to go so through So, you're, you're holding the um, phone over your head right now? right now? I forgot you but had I do want to go through you my... You can't get these down with your little claw. Your little claw of doom. Mugs. So, I'm going to do that. I honestly don't know... Oh. Oh, we're falling. ...what dish set I plan on keeping. So... Are you we'll gonna throw, when you move? Are you gonna throw it loosely in a cardboard box and throw it in the back? Yeah, um, so I don't know what I want to do with those yet. So I'm gonna get rid of this, this guy, which I've literally had for forever, but I don't like. It's just oh, me. Name him. Like a single Pringle living on her own. I don't need all this. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I oh, that weird, weird that that logic only relates to these things in particular. Relate that to literally everything else in your life. I'm just one person. I don't need all this. <laughs> like, Love Ariel. Um, she's actually my favorite princess. But uh, I think I'm going to get rid of it. I love this cup so much. I will so be much. keeping it. a cute yeah. little dog on it. So I'm going to keep it. I also really enjoy this mug because I like to use it for like chilies or soups. But I thought you are just so one person. I'm gonna keep it. So for now, these are the last two I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep or get rid of. Honestly, I think I'm going to keep both. This one has both. Um, a kitty cat all over it. It's so cute. You want the chip cup? Oh, hit up the uh, Lexington <laughs> Goodwill. It's a llama, and then on the inside of it, it says llama. Get right to it. <laughs> I remember her picking that so up I just think years ago. Adorable, so. Llama, Keeping get right those. to it. Okay. Doesn't really make any sense. So my eye, this one, is so red and irritated. I don't That's know if it's from probably because you pet your cats and touch your eye makeup but and wear makeup to bed we're taking it off and so um, i'm taking my makeup don't shower makeup off literally way before i normally would i really want to start wearing makeup again um and my yeah but then you have to take it off every videos night. because i feel like crap so <laughs> i don't want to also look like crap I think that's why, like, after my breakups, I start wearing makeup more and stuff because I just feel so sad. It's your glow up, your post breakup like, glow up. I always up. feel like I lose a little bit of self worth. Any that was like left. Naturally, to be honest, naturally, to be and understandable. Have a nice says, day. You know, when you're hurting, 
give yourself self-love and my version of self-love goes from building legos to taking walks outside which i took one earlier oh yes your favorite thing to <laughs> wearing outside. more makeup washing your hair more than you usually would journal for an extra i gotta get on that 10 arc. minutes you know just anything could be self love slid. self health I hate watching her scrub her eyes with the cloth. Yeah, I know. You know? Plus, I've just been, like, feeling super shitty about how I look. Like, very shitty. I don't know what it is, but it's, like, worse than ever. Okay. Like, I just feel super ugly. How's that therapy Conscious, <laughs> You know? I waddle when I walk. Hey, Jen. My legs look like tree trunks. Like... My arms are... What is this? The comment section? Absolutely massive. Like, the list can go on and on and on. It's just like a lot of self-hatred. So I have to go out of my way oh to my do that self-love. You know? How many, how many wipes for one face? How many wipes? Okay, you guys. Hi. <laughs> I hate the stabilization thing when she starts a clip. My eye has been scratching or itching and I've been scratching it. Don't? Don't? Scratching your eye? That's what, oh yeah, oh my eye is so itchy. Let me just get in there. Oh, that was a good idea? You think that's a good idea? She was so red earlier. I don't know if she still is. Well, you keep touching it. You keep touching it. I was petting on wasabi and I am allergic to my cats. So that's Okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think just about anyone with cats, if they were petting their cats heavily and then just started sticking their fingers in their eye, they'd have a reaction, right? I definitely would. I think that's just natural. <laughs> And like you know, like ever, like I'm not allergic to cats, but like if I just if I just get their stuff, their dander into the corner of my eye, I'm gonna have a problem. <laughs> like probably what it is, honestly. But anyways, I still want to <laughs> do the popsicle sticks, which has 56 questions. I've already answered two. Do we, do we have any spare popsicle Ooh. sticks? Because you guys did take the time to ask these questions. I took the time to pick them out, write them all down and all that. And I just think it's a fun concept. So I do want to answer all of them. Obviously yeah, the, yeah, not the, all yeah, right. The wiping, the, the wet of her eye with the makeup wipe definitely didn't help. No, but eventually I do want to answer them all. And then maybe we could like get 56 more questions and it could be like a fun Quest. little Q and A. Q and A. Or like a fun little. Oh, speaking of, there's that like 50 minute leak section in my video and maybe i could add more than 56 maybe we could do 100 i'm just kidding okay so let's do one number 30 there's questions on the weight loss popsicle sticks three zero i missed this arc put her in there okay so question 30 is do you think you have binge eating disorder again on interesting honestly i don't know i feel oh so now that the weight loss surgery is off the table all of a sudden this is creeping back into your life it was go oh it was never existed never existed i'm anyway i'm all good for this surgery like i have now that it's gone mm, i don't know i've been binging so i was told when i was an outpatient that you can binge and not have binge eating disorder Sure. Right. Anyone could, I guess. There are people out there without the disorder who do binge. Yeah. We all have we all have one of those days. That's like only if you binge a couple times a year. Um, but if you're doing it a couple times a week, we all have those that's days. When definitely an issue. And for me, it's been happening a lot. Uh, probably the worst my food intake has been in a very very long time i almost want to say 
worse than it's been in a couple of years. Hey guys, so I- New scene. I'm getting- Okay, apparently that was over. So tired, but I wanted to just do a really quick P.O. box. So someone sent me- Why is she a crying? Whole, like braille book. Like this is all braille. Why? And I know I'm 32. I have never seen or felt braille in my life. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? At first I was like, why? I appreciate someone giving her something to do. Like, here you go. Learn something. <laughs> Learn a skill. <laughs> ever learn a new form of communication here you go here and, you go um i'm starting to actually screen <laughs> all of my p.o box the read of sending her this book in braille about a girl who is literally dehumanized because of her culture while amber cries is so funny. because i recently had multiple I'm gonna, I'm gonna send her like learn to weld for dumb it's on packages i was going like massive Demission? and heavy just full well, come on in. of like sweet cakes like i'm talking like i've received at least a hundred like boxes like this size uh -huh. like boxes and where are these boxes of like debbie snack cakes and stuff like that like it's insane so i have been trying to now see now see if i if i was getting a bunch of shit that I said not to give me and didn't ask for in my P.O. box, I probably wouldn't mention it. I mean, I understand if she's getting like a like a hundred of them. That's pretty fucking ridiculous. But like, I would probably just keep it pushing and just be like, I'm, just, I'm gonna acknowledge it. Open my packages as soon as I get them so I can screen them, go through them. Feline helps with that still. If she notices something, even before I do, that'll like trigger me or, you know, upset me or whatever. She'll throw it off. Oh, shit. That's not what I was trying to hear after I just spent like 25 bucks or whatever. I mean, she'll throw it away. Um, so I already opened these things. It was actually yesterday. Damn. But I wanted to shout you guys out. And when I opened this, I don't know what it was, but I <laughs> cried. I did. I like sat there and I felt it and... It's just, it's powerful. Um, Feeling the Braille book? For many reasons. I don't really want to like get into it, but the story is called My Name is Maria Isabel by Alma Flor Ada, author of Dancing Home. So I don't know why it was sent to me, um, but regardless, like, I'm glad that it was because I got to feel it and just appreciate He's acting like blind people are these special children. People oh my who God. can only read Braille. Um, it's just like really powerful, honestly. Okay. All right. Interesting. You know what I heard the other day? Apparently, um, The Last of Us Part 2 has, has a mode for, for like blind play like you can they said you can get through the whole game without any without any visuals like with with, with those settings so on. the last thing which that, is uh, that fucking I want to show awesome. you guys that's now awesome is this is from renee that's she so sent cool me a lego i'm super excited to complete it i will definitely show you renee thank you so much um i appreciate it so much this is like a wannabe lego as Bidet. you know that i call them and you know i enjoy them and it's just super sweet of you to get this for me and think of me i just appreciate it so much so i'm gonna add this to my little <laughs> tiny pile of uncompleted legos so i'm actually about to take me some of my melatonin this is the best melatonin in my opinion it's ollie sleep Mel you need to stop you know, like anyone else, if anyone else was like, yeah, I'm taking these sleep melatonin. Like, oh, okay, cool. Like she needs to fucking, there, there, I feel like there's other things she could be trying. 
melatonin. Love it. Definitely. You need a fucking CPAP machine or something. I don't know. Helps. I don't think the fucking melatonin gummy is going to be it for you. Um, But I'm going to go. So this is day three of 15 days of uploading daily. Hope that you guys are enjoying. Um, And I'll see you guys in my next one. You guys know the drill. You know how it goes. No, no, I don't. I really don't. Anyway, uh, cook with me, making mistakes, and what is wrong with my lung? It's dangling? Hello, hello. It's a dangling lung? Oh, hello! Welcome to my vlog! So I'm about to make some food. Does Delta really have same psychoactive effects as weed? I've never had it. I guess so. I've only, I've only tried the one time I took way too much, but, um... It's there. I, I I didn't find it pleasant, but so I am making a concoction. Okay, it'll get you. So it'll hit you. So first we have the pot. I'm gonna add it's some. It's like oil. it's like the same shit. They just it's just like made in a lab out of like hemp or whatever. Oil. I'm gonna add some white onion that I cut up. I'm gonna add some ground turkey. With, was that with the the Ew. paper? <laughs> Now I'm gonna add some That's black gross. pepper. That's fucking gross. Pretty good amount of it. Some garlic salt. Some minced onion. Hey, Nikki Chuckles. I meant to say minced garlic. I was, gonna, minced I was garlic. gonna say. And now I'm going to mix it all up. This is gonna be a one pot meal. Um. My camera doesn't angle down anymore, so I wish I could show you what was really going on. But my camera is like super top heavy, so any farther down that I angle it, it'll just like fall into the food. Oh, I'm sure there's okay, a way guys, around so that. So my meat is cooked. Yes, we do have a nice vacation. My Thank onion you. is cooked exactly how it should be. Now I'm gonna add doesn't, tons of taco. I don't. That's not the way I would ever want an onion cooked. Oh, but go me. on. I wouldn't say tons, but you know, a decent nice steamed onion. Let's go for sure. Stir that up. This is probably where people are going to be like, is this, is this her water cooking again? What is happening? I'm also going to add some salsa. What is happening? Yes. This is going to be so good. If I cooked like this, I'd get DoorDash all the time, too. No kidding. No kidding. People question my food, <laughs> but I promise you that oh. I know how to flavor. I know how things... No, no, no. Because you cook it in fucking water. You can't possibly... Taste? You should know that cooking it in water is fucking all ruining it. Is trust a fat chef. You know what I'm saying? Now I am. You don't even cook for yourself ever. You just order food. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna trust the chef that fucking orders takeout three times a day. Going to add tapatio. <laughs> this comes out so slow. I cook every one of my goddamn oh my meals. Goodness. And I'm gonna add some chicken stock. I cook every day. And then last. What did you do? What are you cooking? Not least. The, you had the perfect opportunity to brown the meat and the onion before doing all this. I'm gonna add some jasmine rice. So now I'm going to leave it okay. to simmer. All right. I am going to add a few more seasonings. I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne some crushed what is this fucking kitchen sink ass recipe pepper flakes i like my food spicy okay me filling up the garbage disposal like and now i'm just gonna let it do its thing adding spice just to feel something the rice is gonna cook and the chicken stock is going to evaporate so this is how it looks now. Well, it's going to get absorbed into the rice. Now, it's going to simmer for a minute or two or three. The rice is going to be all fucking prolapsed and shit. Probably about 20. It's going to be fucking... And I'll show you guys when it's done. <laughs> all right, so here it is. Finished. This honestly came out perfect. It tastes so delicious. 
It's like a taco. But imagine if you had browned the stuff first. Salsa y rice? I don't really know. Um, but it tastes amazing. I was definitely craving like a comfort <laughs> food. Is it? And I do not want to order takeout today, so <laughs> You ever seen the you ever seen the rice just fucking overcooked to death and it starts just like fucking curling in on itself? Yeah, here it is. Delicious. <laughs> okay, so I have tons of leftovers <laughs> thank god that's this gonna be a like fucking brick tomorrow that is gonna be a brick it tastes even better like leftover so i'm excited for that feline loved it so she's I'm not here glad she's about not that. here she's such a good cook looks like the bowl is a little too small but anyway i'm gonna give this to okay. twinkie star I'll figure it out now I need to clean the stove because she's looking messy, but look how good that looks. I swear. <laughs> oh my God. It was 10 out of 10. Massively dirty stove to a now clean stove. Still looks dirty, but I promise it's clean. This is what I've been using for literal years. It's the Method All Purpose Cleaner in Wildflower. It smells good stuff. Good so stuff. freaking good. I ended up buying, I mean, this was a while ago like a whole bundle online because not only was it cheaper, but I was obsessed. I go through weird stages where I like clean obsessively, but yeah, this is the best ever. The smell obsessively? of it, I can marry it. So I'm LOLing, but I figured someone... I would show you guys this because this is a really big question that is happening right now. People are asking what weight did I put in on the Weight Watchers app to get 82 points. People have I been put asking in me? That I weighed the day that I started. 531.2 and there's like rumors people using some like knockoff calculators online not how it works um it's kind of creepy and kind of weird but yeah 531 and that's rough wasn't she down to like right about 500 at one point when she was getting ready for that surgery y'all i don't know what's wrong with me but i'd be getting emotional at the drop of a hat i was checking my instagram dms and someone's like that going therapy to see the new going? barbie movie Wish you were here to dress up with me and my friends. And for some reason, I uh, got emotional. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just. Someone said they wish that you were with them to go see the Barbie movie. Appreciate you guys like reaching out to me. And New wifey just dropped. Stuff like truly, you guys have no idea. Like I know I focus a lot on like the hate and stuff because it's so loud and just like in my face. But like, damn, I see the support and I see the love and I feel it. And I just want to let you guys gas know that I appreciate it so much. Like, especially during this time where I just feel kind of lonely and sad and <sighs> just not worthy. I'm working on it though. And um, every day I can just improve. That's the only thing I can do. But um, I'm just having a hard time and I'm just going through and seeing all these sweet messages and i just appreciate it and i'm sorry i can't respond to all you but i am reading them and i appreciate them so much so thank you like you just never know what someone is going through i didn't and, mean to do um, the big organ any small thing can hurt someone but any small thing could also just make someone feel really freaking good and just appreciated and thought of and that's where i'm at right now so all right i'm gonna open my blinds and I'm gonna go for a walk. So that is what I'm about to go do. And I don't vlog and walk anymore. Um, I've been going oh, on daily walks. That's a great, perfect, uh, perfect emote right there, the violin. Actually for almost a week now. And ever since I fell and tore ligaments in my ankle, I uh, don't do that because I was vlogging and walking when I did that. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. So not me out here just staring at myself in the wasn't one of the videos coming up saying that she fell? Mirror, just hating myself. Is it just a reference to the time she fell or is she falling like, down? Oh my god. I am going through such, like, self-hatred. I talked about it a little bit in my last vlog. Tell your therapist. I feel like I'm really what am I supposed to that. do? Like, it kind of just reminds me of, like... Oh, okay. All the haters in the comment section better stop. Amarillin doesn't like herself anymore something that i've heard you know people talk about like how they feel like their self-worth is only as much as the person you're with 
like makes you feel like okay so we're me, so okay so we're guilting feline now for breaking up with you okay interesting just just coming on here being like yeah so anyway feline broke up with me so anyway here's all here's this this snack haul from trader joe's and also by the way i fucking hate myself and i'm worthless it's like being with Feline. Feline's, you know, Feline's in the other room waiting affection, to go to bed romance, on the love, compliments. couch that I'm sitting and on. And she drastically made me feel better about myself. Like, she made me feel normal. Oh, Whereas, so all she has to do is just get back together with you and then you'll be happy again. Oh. For the majority of my life, I have felt like monstrous, grotesque. People look fucking at me like Becky, I'm a circus freak. Fucking and Becky. Feline made me feel normal. <laughs> She made me feel like I deserved love and I deserved to be treated for more than like my size. Amberlynn's had... the kind of person who would Google Oppenheimer post credits scene. <laughs> what ha- what happens at the end of Oppenheimer? Fucking Becky. Fucking Becky, thanks for the bit, Skamakazi. I guess for some reason like <laughs> I don't know. I'm How just does Oppenheimer like, end? I'm just not worth <laughs> love anymore. I don't know. I'm just in a weird, weird, weird headspace. And I don't know. I'm, I am I come on here and I try to be as entertaining as possible. And, you know. I'm- you try to be as entertaining as possible? This, this is you as entertaining as possible? I'm just not entertaining right now i'm just going through some some stuff for sure oh and i do want to say that i have heard you guys because a lot of people were asking like about my lung and an update on that lung update well (laughs) just like last year um where the pain and the shortness of breath and all the symptoms i had they kind of like vanished um, I'm experiencing the same thing where it vanished. My lung isn't hurting. Um, it's not making that like weird feeling that I was having. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like Becky. really Fucking afraid Becky. for it to come back. Like knock on wood. But a lot of people were asking about that. That 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 triggered me. I don't like that. I don't like when people knock on things. Um. So I don't know. Same thing it, when there's a doorbell in a commercial. Ugh. It's apparent that Ugh. this comes in waves. Oh my God. I just need to keep that documented and the symptoms that, you know, arise when it happens. And I always make sure to see my doctor when it happens. When she got stuff, a dog so. in the house. So reason, true. So true. I call from the um, lung specialist, which is weird because my doctor literally told me they are calling me. And normally I'm like super impatient. So I end up calling them and I just want to get the ball rolling. Of course. Classic. But classic. I classic. I to take your guys' advice and just wait for them to call me and since they haven't i think i'm just gonna call them but yeah i just wanted to give that update police sirens Y'all and music when you're driving good. oh my god oh my god fucking on the radio there'll be like an ad that has like a a, a car horn in it stop i'll show stop you that which i still haven't even had neither has feline remember when there's, there's, we got these from there's the no feline there is no feline Cool Pops. Dollar Tree. Uh, we got two of each. They're the Cool Pops. We got two of these and two of these. Uh-huh. But we have the other ones in the pantry. Who's going through all that corn? So there is like so many flavors to choose from. We're going to try one of each and then throw them out or something. I think I'm going to try some from here. Six of these is a serving for 90 calories. Ma'am, who eats six of these? I mean, that's probably easy go to do, on, but go I want on. either the cherry, watermelon, or strawberry. Let's do watermelon, which is the dark green one. That's a stupid color for watermelon. That's how I open these, folks. I think I broke my tooth. I think I broke my tooth. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be so frozen. Oh. Uh-huh. Did you break your tooth or are you just being fucking dramatic? You want to check? That slaps. Too bad c Bent's not here to comment on how she only uses her front teeth. Well, can we all... 
<clears throat> can, we, can we give a shout out to uh, to Ben? I also want to try cherry, which is the red one. Y'all, this is where it's at. All right, fucking bugs, buddy. Mm, looks like I'm having three of them because now I want to try uh, berry punch, which is something wild about her just propped up in the kitchen, leaning on the fridge. Be like, Let's try this one. <laughs> Why mm. is she holding on to the fridge for dear life? Wait, my favorite out of the three I've tried. These all slap, but I think the blue is RGB. My okay, you guys, hello, hello. Let's talk. I mean, this whole video has been nothing but me talking, but I mean, that's what a vlog is, right? I just went on another mini walk with Twinksters. Uh -huh. I don't know. Something's not mini walk. me. I'm walking a little bit more than usual, so that's really good. That's good. But I want to talk about good. Weight Watchers. You I know, have... you know who would probably uh, would love multiple walks a day? Twinkie Star. Because that sounds like a great thing to do for Twinkie Star. Stayed under my points for the last couple of days. And I'm just like super swollen still. And I just swollen? don't feel that good. Like I stopped the whole like fruits, veggies, chicken sausage, mustard, cottage cheese. I stopped that. And I have felt like crap ever since. Like legitimately eating that way just made me feel so good. So it's like I kind of want to... Go back to that life like Chicken i did sausage it life a couple days after the breakup but like i don't know the breakup it's kind of it's what the mustard cottage cheese thing was was giving you life mess with my everything like my routine of life my schedule the way i do things i don't know so um yeah god was starting weight watchers a stupid idea <laughs> so many of you are probably screaming at your like TV, your phone, your computer, laptop, whatever you're watching me on, you're like, Amberlynn, you're so annoying. I know. My primary monitor here, the center monitor, one of three. But was it a mistake? God, I have stuff to think about. Oh, good. The fucking red dot sight's back. Mistake. Okay, guys, so I just completed another wannabe Lego, so I wanted to show you. These are like the headphones. Looks like absolute shit. Okay, let me fix that. It's supposed to go in this guy right here. Garbage. So these are like the little headphones. Looks like shit. That are connected to the Dollar store. tape recorder. Garbage. Which does open. And I did make little cassettes. As you can see You here. made them? So we can just... Put Walk it inside man, she doesn't know what's and called. listen. Oh my god, this one's so freaking cute. Ooh, some analog sound. Let's go. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I still gotta uh, I put up that. these. Isn't it adorable? I, I gotta find a good spot for these um, patches. This just helps me. This has been like helping me through my breakup, hey, okay? Undercover communist. She talks like you can't do mustard and cottage cheese veggies and Weight Watchers at the same time. Multitasking queen. Yeah, probably zero points, It's right? my little version of therapy. Look at Rarittles. My what own version doing? of therapy. You know what? Would it be a great version of therapy? Your own version of therapy would probably be <laughs> consulting with a therapist. Hi. Your own okay, guys, therapist. So it is the end of the Your night. Your own I'm little therapy. Tired. I do want to end this vlog, but I want to do oh, good, a, question. Um, a question or two. So let's pick a popsicle stick here. We got number two. Can you guys see it? I believe two. you. I believe you. It's What's fine. What's your favorite weight loss snack? Well, it depends. Like, are you trying to be like super healthy, or are you still allowing a little? Your good, favorite good in weight there? loss snack? Well, you're asking Amberlynn her favorite weight loss snack. Oh my god, the lighting! What is going on? I looked up and I literally thought I was in. Like, I'm not trying an to be mean, but like, what, <laughs> ma'am? I'm just gonna say, like, when I'm being like super healthy, like an apple, I'm not even lying. But like, if I am eating whatever I want, just an like apple. in moderation a or whatever, a fucking apple, I... an apple, a fucking apple. They like those salami snack plates. Salami? Y'all, I totally was going to do another salami question, mommy? but I'm really tired. I'm a little high. I took Delta 8. I took a little bit more than I usually do, and it just like really helps with my sleep and stuff. So not going to get mad about that. It also 
I don't know. Kind of lightens my mood a little bit. I don't feel as sad, so. Yeah, but it's like yeah, blue. Yeah, Mayo, you said it before, but like the the melatonin and the Delta Eight for bed. Really, my bedtime. So I'm You're gonna just, go. Just gonna and again, I promise. Whip up a little cocktail before tomorrow, bed so you guys to get you to, to sleep. Stare at me looking like this. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. <laughs> Throw a little cough syrup in there for good measure. No, just don't don't do that. Don't do that. Please, please don't do that. Uh, we got meat mellow lin. <laughs> what is life? Reflecting about life vlog. Hello, hello, hello. I can't, I can't believe we're at the halfway point. This is taking way too long. Welcome to another daily vlog. Is this day five or six? I don't know. Everything becomes a blur. Oh, fucking two. After day three. Same when it comes to like vlogmas. This is like a little mini vlogmas in July, if you will. So yeah, it's just going to be daily vlogs. I think the last one will be August 3rd. So fun, fun. So yesterday I promised you guys that today I will be vlogging with makeup on. So I hope don't you guys care. like my makeup look for today. I wanted to do something a little different. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I haven't done my makeup yet, but I'm about to do it. So I will be right back. Okay, so makeup is complete. Don't care. And my wings are sharp enough to Pretending to be stab high someone, in this had me so cracking up. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I use the e.l.f. putty blush. Do you think she's so edgy for doing Delta 8? Like, girl, it's legal. Yeah, um, at least... I, like, in at least 38 states, right? Like, which is my new something like, or no, there's like, fuck, it probably, probably way more new for that item. My new makeup item that I recently got from Target, <laughs> and this is in color Bora Bora. I use just a light amount on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. And for, what with like the farm bill or whatever, something since then, they've been able to like ship it out to wherever across the country right? um, i don't you know you can barely tell because this camera is like whoa it just makes me look really Locky pale and it like doesn't even the night, show my yeah. blush that much i mean you can see a little bit but not really but anyways hi so i'm still in the same spot you guys saw me um i was super productive after that last clip and I did some things around the apartment, blah, blah, blah. Okay, like and what? And I want to say about like an hour and a half ago, I took some Delta 8. I'm taking like this gummy in the brand Koi. It's a sour cherry. And um, yeah, I'm like at the high end of my uh, highness, I think. <laughs> And I just wanted to check in with you guys. Have I ever have I ever acted like that? Walky slush. Have I ever? That was nice. Good. I forgot that was a thing. And say that Thanks, my. in the last like forty five minutes I have done nothing with my life. Fucking Cheech and Chong edited. over here. Um So that's good. So I have the video edited and <clears throat> scheduled to go up since we're doing these um daily videos so it's the good um, i'm actually working on a wannabe lego that a subscriber got me it's gonna be like in a heart and there I don't are like it. I don't like it. all of these pieces don't like it don't like I'm it having to do to create With pets this in the heart, house not for me in it's been different, y'all. It has taken some time. It Wait, is like what? tedious work, but I think that's why I like Legos. Like I like the aspect of like the instructions of it. Um, it's just coming together. The tediousness is just like calming when I'm listening to YouTube, which is like currently what I'm doing now. Oh, she's <laughs> I'm rambling. Oh, I'm rambling. And I'm actually getting a little hungry. Um, I when wanted the Delta to go back hits. to like my healthier way of eating, like with all the veggies I'm about and to the be fruit 30. and, but like I, I, I'm making excuses in my brain and I'm telling myself but it's Sunday. Like, you're totally fine to, like, order takeout. 
and it is Sunday. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this I know is it's so July cringe. 23rd. Oh my god. Yes, it is Sunday. What's the matter, Holly? Demo on Kickstarter. Well, oh yeah, well, yeah what it was advertise it more. Nineteen ninety nine. You get it. That's good. That's good. Eggless Greenleaf, welcome on in. How you doing? Love your YouTube vids. Very cool. Very cool. Thanks so much. I love when people make it over from YouTube. Welcome on in. Currently, love that. Being a YouTuber, sometimes you get your days all like mixed up and stuff. I'm gonna turn on my light. Yeah, Amberlynn's <laughs> fucking nine to five. She needs to unwind on a Sunday. Hey, puppy dog, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little rat. Come here. Okay. Hi. Are you in a nasty mood? Your ears all flipped and everything. What's going on? Don't wiggle out. Don't try to wiggle out. Why you? Sound, I, feel, I feel like you're straining. Do you need me to? Do you have mucus up in here? What's going on? Do you swallow? There you go. Thank you. Better. Very tiny, very tiny little throat on this dog. Oh, the girl loves you, Allie. The first Christmas in this apartment, when, um... Amberlynn's going to outlive us all. You watch. She's like that one uncle you have that smokes a pack a day and lives to 100, but someone who's super healthy gets hit by a car in 35. <laughs> interesting take. Interesting take. We put these lights up, and ever since then, which it's Hi, been like puppy dog. three years... I haven't taken Sally them down. Is that like a flower pup? Maybe. She I might be too nervous. I just think they look so good in my living room. That's just me, Risk though. is low if you don't yes, go anywhere. Yes, some of those yeah. leaves have fallen. <laughs> uh, I know. It's because the pillow, like, pulled them down. That yellow pillow. Okay. So, you know, mistakes happen over here. Um, Spilt milk and all that. they coming down anyway. 10 months oh, no. minutes of less smoke. Hell I just yeah. Got so sad. Year coming up. Are. They're going to be coming They ended down. up falling. Because <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> Whoa. Like, I've been trying so hard to like distract Bad myself. Bad trip incoming. Um, <laughs> in ways where I'm not thinking about the breakup. I'm so scared right now, you guys. I'm not thinking about my heartbreak. I'm not thinking about the fact that this isn't going to be my home one day. Oh, I God. I have come to love this apartment oh, dear. so much. Oh, like, dear. On the Delta 8s? I feel comfortable here. I feel cozy. I feel safe. I feel... Okay, now, see, this is making me feel like the Delta 8s aren't hitting. Because if they were, you'd just be, like, still working on your Legos and having a great time, probably. And every time. Oh, we're... <laughs> Guys, I feel like I have bugs on me. Right, okay, that's fine. And every time um, I begin... I don't, think, I don't think it's supposed to happen like this. I think you're supposed to just kind of tinker with your Legos. Just feel those feelings like at home and like wow okay, i would just yeah. be i would just be playing minecraft right now or like something. this is my space this is my place it's always like taken from me and i know like of course i could stay here but there's nothing in kentucky for me anymore and i feel like if i do stay here Thank my mental God, health is right? just gonna keep getting worse I thought she already yeah, had, like, sure. a plan on where she was going to go. In these walls, like, I feel at peace. It's, like, my home. I've fallen in love with it. Where's like, the Cheers theme song? Where everybody knows your name. You know what I'd be doing? You know what I'd be doing if I was, uh... 
I was, if I was on something like that, I'd just be doing this for a couple hours. <laughs> just be, I'd just be messing with that. Talk to Lizzie. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. How you doing? Play ring blood. I stay out too late. Got nothing in my brain. <laughs> Talk to Lizzie. Welcome on in. Cyanide pills. Welcome on in. Um, that's what people say. Ooh, ooh. That's what people say. Ooh, ooh. I go on too many dates. Can make them stay. That's what people say. Ooh, ooh. But I keep cruising. Walls I move it. Like I got the music in my mind. It's gonna be alright. Cause the players gonna play, 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 play. And the haters gonna hate, 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 hate. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it off. Shake it off. I'm breaking gonna break. <laughs> You guys like blast beats? Enter Sandman. That's not a bad idea. You know when when I like in like um in like high school my band did played Enter Sandman. I sang and played bass. What about um, Master of Puppets? There we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Well, actually. <laughs> Darkness imprisoning me. All I see, absolute horror. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Okay, 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 I'm almost done. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> go, go for the solo. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, sorry. <sighs> what kind of keyboard do you have? A uh, very shitty yamaha keyboard that was like 99 dollars in like 2002 or something doesn't have any dynamic sensing or whatever i just use it as a midi controller for the laptop over there like i'm com anyway back to the video here sorry can we have a request stream? That would be so fun. What What's your request? What, what do you got? Comfortable here. And I feel like that's what people look for. No. It's a hole in the bottom of the sea. No, no, no. There's no time. No time for that. There is a hole in the bottom of the sea, though. Homes. You know, my whole life growing up, like, in and out of foster homes, children's shelters, like, group homes. I didn't know what home was. I didn't know, like, what is that supposed to feel like? And um, I noticed that the last two. Places I don't think this is supposed to happen when you're on the when you're on the gummies. I have lived. The I have finally felt that, and that was here, obviously, and the home I lived in before here. Um, and I've lost both of those places. And, I'm not um, following this. Sorry. It's sad. Like, I know this is an apartment. I can't live here forever. And I definitely need to move out of Kentucky because I have people in my life that I want to be near. And going to get expensive real quick. I feel like that's really important to me that I get to experience living near people who, like, unconditionally love me. Sorry, I... <laughs> I don't know. I did not expect like to go down like a whole rant. I just wanted to say hi and that I've been lazy <laughs> because I am definitely like feeling good right now, which is a good thing. Like I am using Delta as a way to like help me with my emotions. And I know like maybe that a lot of people aren't going to agree. Sound, doesn't sound the best. Maybe you should consult your therapist about this. With that, which is fine. I just feel like it's like THC, like there's nothing wrong with it i have never thought that like i'm very against drugs <laughs> obviously i'm very against um that whole life like i barely want to take painkillers you know um but i have never oh my god wait, no, so we're much. not we're not having fucking we're not having unmedicated lynn come back right like <laughs> There was that whole thing through like like mostly when she was destiny like i don't take i don't take medicine i don't take pills i don't do tylenol I don't do any of that, like. Much. Um, whether it be like physically, whether it be mentally, you're, you're um, like you're gonna be the person. Obviously, you can like overdo you're gonna it. Be the person to make just, it all like I see it me right now, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Too good and for I don't think medicine. Be judged for using THC in any form. Um, where he's tail. So yeah, I don't know. I just get afraid. Kind you of. Remind me of Laszlo. Because like, I, I feel opinion, like, like someone's told me that before. Avocado millennial so different on like doing? certain topics which is totally understandable because i have some wild opinions for sure <laughs> oh my god just thinking about me filming like maybe like an opinion video or something i don't know like i feel like my opinions align with um like i'm very like open book editing amberlin here i meant to say let's go let's get political in political in let's get that going you remember you remember when uh she didn't fucking vote in the election and then was like how did how did Donald Trump win? How did, like, like, didn't people realize, like, that wasn't going to be good? And also, isn't, wasn't fucking Kentucky one of the few, like, um, one of the few states where it actually fucking mattered? Like, whatever they call it. I forget the name. Open mind. Not open book. Like, 
all that type of stuff but i have some like weird opinions like there's <laughs> i used to joke around about um flat earth Undercover i'm not a flat earther and a lot how of long think streams that, totally totally just depends on what we're doing usually at least two hours usually go it usually ends up being closer to three-ish sometimes sometimes longer depends what Telling we're doing firsthand, depends what time i started earther. it's just a weird depends on if jamie's working late or not concept okay swing state yes yeah, a swing state about to die. It's yeah wasn't kentucky a swing state and she was like guys how did you let donald trump win didn't like more people vote for hillary than him like how does that work so we don't want to lose this footage so i'm gonna stop talking here i could probably talk for another easy 30 minutes so i'm gonna go bother feline <laughs> bye she, hello she doesn't exist she's non-exist there's no one to bother so we're still in the same spot folks yes, we, but i have been doing like a ton of journaling and i don't know if i've ever shared this before i don't know but on my macbook um i actually go to the little note section which you also have that on the iphone and that is where i journal that is where i do it first and then i carry it on to my actual physical journals it's just how i've been doing it for over two years i don't know why um it's just what works for me because like what if i'm like in the car and i want to journal okay cool i got my phone with me i'm able to do that so that is why i've always oh done you it like have that, your maybe. phone with um, you it works for me so i've just been doing tons of journaling i also did some sweeping and felina's gonna mop that is the way we do it i sweep she mops okay go on that's actually where she sleeps that's her pillow um a lot of you are wondering it's right there she sleeps right there and she uses that blanket uh people are what, kind, what, what kind of emotional abuse is going on where she doesn't get a like a room to her herself because you sit on the fucking couch that she sleeps on asking how come what if she wants a nap like if that's also feline's apartment why she doesn't get to sleep on the bed we just equally decided that since it's my bed um that i bought it and it just makes more sense that i sleep in the bed um yeah but then why don't you fucking journal in your room like <laughs> she thinks the couch is super comfortable so her sleeping on the couch every yeah night. but what where does she have to go when you plop your ass on the fucking couch she hasn't had an issue i have mentioned to her like i will buy you like a mattress for the office or something but she doesn't want like the office to be where she sleeps but then also where she works because she works 12 hour days i don't know if you guys right know that. right they say uh, that's not good she's just super hard working so i was in the middle of doing this wannabe lego when i ran out of red pieces i don't know what to do because i still have this but there's no more <laughs> There's just yellow. Oh, you're going to have to oh, just no. like take like the corner of it or something and like fade in some yellow so it just all fits in and that will be pretty cool. I mean, I'm still going to put all the yellow ones down, but that right there is bothering me. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. So just like last night. Why are these fucking we're doing it again. numbers We're having some me. cool pops. So let's, let's try them together. Let's check my voicemails. I forgot that I was vlogging. <laughs> Yes, I did. I forgot that I was vlogging today. So this one is like the tropical flavors. I figured we could try them. There's so many different ones. I really want to try pineapple. So that's the one we're gonna do. How do you open this again? Have you guys ever heard that like... We got a Susie Moore just subscribed. Hello. Apparently a bunch of e uh, voicemails I didn't check. Should I Susie Moore, with 35 months. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Hello. Can I see some sandwiches in the chat for Susie H. Moore? Forgot I was vlogging, but then insists this is her job. Yeah, she was... <laughs> I look like in like uh, in the in in Wedalber recently. She was like, "Okay, so we're doing a what I eat in a day," and then like the next scene is like, "Guys, I totally forgot that I was doing that." I'm like, oh, you you're busy? What's going on? Say this out loud. <laughs> Pineapple. It makes certain things sweet. Ignore me, please ignore me. Who's this? That's the Chino. Oh, we're trying another flavor oh, wow. of these bad boys. It does not taste like pineapple, but it's good. I also want to do summer punch, which is the red guy. I hold on to this while I'm standing here. Like, you know, when you're in the car and there's like that little holdy thingy majigger. I yeah. just hold on to that for some reason. Me too, sometimes. Oh my God. Whoever invented these, y'all won. Fucking okay, let's Bugs do one Bunny more. over here. Let's do 
wild berry. Fucking Melbourne. Why is it so light? On the box, it looks like a dark purple, but in real life, it's like... Moved into my new team Monday, away from the ableist piece of shit and the manager who bullied me. Nice, nice. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Barely any What's color at all. this one? Pina Colada? Who's this? Dustachino. Oh, that's good. Hey, Dust. Mm. I go through phases where my teeth is super sensitive, but right we now know, we're doing good. We know, we know. Oh, so good. Hello, it is the yeah, next why day. Why does she I'm do it like that? Doing my makeup and editing at the same time. I'm a multitasking queen, but I didn't have an ending to this vlog, so I'm gonna end it here. I literally woke up like 20 minutes ago, and I took the so what is like days life, later or something like or what? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, I I don't know. I woke up feeling better today, so that's a positive note. But I'm about to start my other vlog for today, so come back and see that. Oh my God, these um, have been shit. But I did want to like vlogs. have an outro. I know this vlog was kind day of a flop. after the Delta Some of these super flopsicles. Get it instead of the popsicle. Flopsicles. I'm gonna go now. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Interesting. Was there one more? Excellent. Excellent. We're almost done then. Hey guys. Let's Welcome. fucking wrap this up, huh? Giving this vlog a rotten rating, unfortunately. To a new vlog. Fans so I just say wanted to no. start this. I just finished editing the video that actually went up today, which for you guys means it went up yesterday. Um, today's the 24th. All right, all right. Still oh, I don't need the fucking big Lee antics here. On track with my videos. So still anyway, doing yeah. videos until the third. Some video of them are should be going up. Well, it will already be up by the time with. you see it, obviously. I'm sure people have also said it, but who knows, but instead of a popsicle this summer we're gonna have a bunch of flopsicles because i'm a flop and some of it's not it's not working for me it's not like the next fun little phrase that paulie d made up or anything my vlogs are boring, it's, it's not so, sticking sorry. for me and the before flopsicle. we continue on for the day i do want to make it very clear that i do not like how my makeup looks today Fetch. but i don't want to have to take it all off and start over because so the process her of doing makeup chomps into pac-man please waka, waka, waka. isn't really my favorite thing but i know that it doesn't look that great so let's just not say anything about it you guys i did it I finished the Lego, well, wannabe Lego that Renee like, so yeah, sent me. So thank you West so album much. Cover. And if you guys remember, I had some red pieces and missing, a heartbreak. But I fan took made. some from the sides, moved them in the middle, and then just added yellow. So it kind of worked out. And now I just have one missing Weird, piece. Tell okay. me if you can find it. I'm currently playing this. Oh, out. Okay, find the missing piece. Uh, this one right here. Is that it? Right there. Cool. Oh, now I just have one missing piece. Tell me if you can find it. I'm currently playing this iMessage game with my friend. I don't know if you guys know about those iMessage games, but some. Oh, let's see. Let's see the um. Let's see their little avatar. Some are super show friends avatar. Fun, and this one's like one of my faves. Wraith. Is Every it time Wraith? I play this game with someone, I always win, and I'm about to win again. Oh, it was so close. I won. Yay. Okay, so I am it? about to fill up my journal that I'm currently Out of all the good games on that thing, that's what you picked? You don't want to do the darts or the or the or Writing the in, and these are all the ones the... that are empty. These are all that I have. People out here acting like I have hundreds. Her friend calm. <laughs> I don't. Um, I write in my journal every single day, so it makes sense that I have a large amount. But I love filling up a journal and being able to open up a new that's one that's crazy crack it's that. crazy how she buys like a couple journals a week and says that she goes through them like what the fuck are you writing that's fine do that thing okay so the way i like to do it is i like this to point? set like... two down at one time and choose between the two so like when it comes to this I don't want to use this one yet, so I'll leave this one here because that's still with my a jelly beans. And then I'll put another one down and decide between those two. So I'm going to continue. I, yeah, I do this with jelly beans. Doing that process until there's only one left. I like you guys ever make the jelly beans fight. <laughs> take, two, take two jelly beans and you uh, you smash the ends into each other. And whichever one 
whichever one whichever one doesn't doesn't smash all the way is the winner and then you bring in another I usually do a tournament style uh, so I'll get like eight of them and break them off into into uh, into twos you smash <laughs> this one's the winner so it goes up to the next round this one's the win and then you there's there's a championship you know try it sometime try it sometime hardest jelly bean wins I'm serious it's it's a blast you got to try it <laughs> competitive jelly bean docking basically yeah the one so one jelly beans harder than the other one so it goes it just goes into it and it just just fucking destroys the other jelly bean sometimes they're very similar and the winner takes a lot of damage and then it's like oh so he's gonna lose the next round or whatever She said she journals on her notes app and then writes it all down in her journals. For fucking who? Does she go back and review or something? That's that is crazy. Cuz it's not like it's not like she's got her journals like visibly in some kind of order chronologically where it's like, "Oh, let me access August 18th of 2021 or whatever, you know, like guys, guys, hey, break it up. Honestly, it's too hot for this. Really with me in the room. All right. So it looks like this is the one I'm choosing. It wasn't as satisfying as it could have been because I put this one down so soon. It's just super pretty. Okay, and interesting. Yeah, I think it's time that I use this one because I've had it for a couple of years now. Okay, you guys. So update on WW on the good old Weight oh, Watchers good. moment. Oh, good. Cannot wait for this. Hey, microwave fudge. How you doing? By the way, my AC is literally right here. I hear it. And she's loud. That's actually <laughs> that's actually a vent. Fun she track. has a mind of her own, so she's a little loud right now, so I don't know if that's bothering you guys. If it is, I'm sorry. So I have officially divorced Weight Watchers, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god. I get it. I do. I just, when I'm on Weight Watchers, I don't know what it is, but I am like psychologically triggered into ordering takeout for my meals, just like snacks junk process i don't know oh, what it is oh so I it's weight watchers fault oh that's a that's an interesting perspective huh huh think about it i go Fucking back to like weight the first time i ever did weight watchers i was 11 and i was eating things like ramen and then um i ended up doing weight watchers again when i was in high school and I was just eating tons of takeout and like. Remember, remember when they said that legumes are zero points? When you Google ALR, national birthdays put her down as social media sensation and plus size model. Correct me if I'm wrong, but she's never done modeling work. What's the possibility she wrote that herself? I'd imagine it was just like AI generated or something. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But uh. Mrs. Pongo, Miss Miss Mrs. Pongo, Mrs. Sp uh, uh, welcome on in. Welcome on in. It is a weird description. The only thing I could think of that would that would actually make that make sense is because in her videos she'll like show off her torrid haul or whatever. So like in some weird way, I guess that could make sense but it's not like she was hired but. tv dinners and it's like i've always correlated weight watchers with is this yesterday this is the most recent one i believe so that type of food and plus like getting so many points it definitely messes with me because it's like duck lips constantly i have food problems we uh, yeah maybe a troll wrote it that's a definite definite possibility we all see it we see me we Just hear being me. ironic you guys have been seeing my 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 food issues trust it's like i don't know how to like block 
the thought process of, oh, I'm on Weight Watchers, I'm allowed to have junk, and um, I can have a lot of it. I don't know how to like block that stuff off that at all. So I'm just gonna have to like not do Weight Watchers. I don't. That doesn't sound like the solution. I'm like obviously whatever works for you, but she doesn't seem to know what works for her. And I don't, I don't think it's Weight Watchers' fault that you're seeing it that way. I know people who have lost a lot on Weight Watchers and like continue to do it. I don't know what my next steps are. I don't. Um, every night I go to bed saying I'm gonna wake up. And <laughs> I do. Sometimes I do that too. Like sometimes I go to bed and like, I'm gonna wake up. <laughs> I'm gonna do really good. I'm not gonna order. You could go to bed and say I'm not gonna wake up. That would be takeout. But then I order takeout. <laughs> that would um, be that would be pretty bad if you said that. It's frustrating. Like I order takeout <laughs> today. I got Brazilian sausages and jasmine rice. I usually go to bed and say, let me get my pokemon sleep all set up it's just this like brazilian restaurant and put on a podcast about video game news that is so good in my city me and feline are kind of low-key obsessed my so I got city that. yeah it my wasn't city. like anything horrible but it's also like takeout and I'm are you guys fighting right now what's the deal they're both just sitting there with their legs tucked in not looking at each other i'm tired of having takeout every day the ricey soup leftovers. Twinkie Star got into it. But it's just so easy because I hate cooking. I don't know. I don't really know what my steps are right now. I don't even know what step to take next. And I know- Oh, I thought she was counting steps again. I was like, okay. A lot of people watching this are probably like, <laughs> just do it. And it's like, it's not that easy. Um, that's really do you remember when you were going to therapy leading towards you? Getting professional help for, with like a weight losser. Hey, C Ben, we mentioned you before. Really not. I'm I'm trying to figure it out though. <laughs> I'm trying. I just don't know what is like right for me right now. I don't know. So a little mini update on my life. Um, it has started. Okay. <laughs> it has started storming. And you guys know how I am about tornadoes, but we have no like tornado watches or warnings. So I think I'm actually going to be enjoying the storm. Yes. I took some of my sour chan and chammies. <laughs> what is that? Sour cherry Delta eights. Life update. Weather is happening. Yes. Perfect. That was a paid storm sound. <laughs> yeah. Just hit the storm button. <laughs> Oh, see, Ben, so we mentioned you because uh, she took out those popsicles and was eating them with her front teeth. Sour? Oh, let me start over. I took some of my... Pauline standing outside hitting a piece of corrugated metal with a stick. Metal pipe hitting the ground. Sour cherry. I saw the lightning first. Um, That's pretty I, dang close. I took a sour cherry gummy, which is Delta 8. It's been just like helping so much with my like... That explains why she's not anxious about the tornado. Tennis and stuff. Like THC. Chef's kiss. Like, thank you. I have needed the help. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but let's get you on some CBD. The rain's coming down heavy. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Oh, I kind of want to go sit outside. I'm going to do that. Okay, update. Sit outside. Has... Sit oh. outside. How is that the move? Gotten really windy. I was out there. And then I was like, okay, it's getting kind of bad. And now I feel like really anxious. Like What's all the like splooge on her face? Like mm-hmm. So is, I'm checking on rain? my weather app. How long is this supposed to last? Hmm. Over four hours. Wow, I am absolutely thrilled. I'm so excited. It's a dream come true. <laughs> Special weather statement, hazardous winds. Okay. Okay. Oh, and pea size hail. I am stoked. So fun. Oh, good thing you don't uh, own any property or have a car. 
So, what is the hell? And you live on the first floor of, like, an apartment building? What's what's the problem with the hail? Rarity, what do you think? She's the only pet that uh, doesn't care about storms. But Twinkie and Wasabi have both been through a tornado. Uh, so where are they at? They don't do very well with storms at oh, all. And where Rarity are they? Rarity has never been through one. Where are the ones that don't do well in the storm? I see the one that does fine in the storm. <laughs> it was when we were living in Florida. Okay. Yeah. And where... Where is the traumatized dog? Tornado hit my apartment. I have all those vlogs if you want to go look at those. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I am about a to have a little late night snack. So I was craving cherry ice cream. I am not like a fan of fruity Traverse ice cream. City cherry but cherry fruit. ice cream with chocolate. So good. So I'm going to have some of that. And before anyone asks, yes, I serve my ice cream with a, butter with a butter knife. knife. I'll use a spoon to eat, obviously, but trust, this helps so much to get the ice cream out. I would just warm it up so a little now, bit. Even though, even though that slightly melt it, melts it, and then when you go to refreeze it, it enlarges the ice crystals and makes it tougher. I don't. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't take me too many rounds to finish off an ice cream, so that's not really a problem. My little special ingredient is milk. Oh, <laughs> Rarity knows classic. what milk smells like. Did you hear her? Rarity knows so what milk smells like. Okay. Bowl of ice cool. cream. And I will definitely be using a spoon. I'm going to mix it all together. So does that mean that you're giving Rarity milk? Or... And it's like you're eating a milkshake. It's so good. Shut the fuck up. What? It's like you're eating a milkshake? Yeah, you're just an unmixed one? So I have a little <laughs> cut right here. Because I was eating earlier and the spoon that I used, I don't know how, was chipped and it's like metal. So I'm just using it and I get scraped super hard okay so that's fun i obviously had to throw away the spoon but i'm coming on here to tell you guys that i fell again yeah ah, i did so God. where in the hail well, there's a long hallway and my fallen and i can't get up i'm falling i'm falling apartment and in that hallway Feline has has be out and about and gave our dainty girl a cold sore. Uh, no, Amberlynn has had has had that for a long time. There's nothing wrong with them. I guess Destiny and Amberlynn both both get cold sores, right? Is like a little laundry room closet situation type deal. Okay, hold on. Is hold on. so Let there's a listen. long hallway. In my apartment and okay. in that hallway is like a little laundry room closet situation type deal okay and i use probably four laundry sheets per uh the fuck is a laundry sheet dryer sheet wash and i <laughs> why why so many i guess a laundry sheet fell out on the floor and i didn't even notice it was there so I'm walking, and I have all this stuff in my hand, uh, including a drink, might I add. Okay. And I wasn't paying attention, and I slipped on the laundry sheet. And where were the animals at at this point? You know you got critters running around, too. Fucking Feline. Fucking Feline tried to kill me with a dryer sheet? And the mixture of, like, the type of flooring that I have in my apartment with the dryer sheet, I land... Okay, the lack of traction. Okay, landed yeah. on my knee, I landed mm -hmm. on my right knee, extremely hard. Did you dab <laughs> while it happens? Mm. <laughs> and it just immediately was like bringing back those memories of when I fell and I tore ligaments in my ankle. Drinks went literally. Did Feline think you were proposing? Drink went flying. Fucking Feline tried to kill me. Roll everywhere, and it was just 
super embarrassing. What was the drink? This actually happened over a month ago. So this. Then what the fuck do I care? I think you lived. <laughs> code red incident slipped on a code red. <laughs> Fucking month ago, a month ago. Are you okay? Did you survive? This isn't something that happened today. This did happen a month ago and still to this day, I have the Stuff tiniest like bit of like a bruise, but like- Who gives a shit? Who fucking cares? The day after it happened, my knee- Her admission added spice to her boring ass vlog, yeah. It was hurting so bad. What it do? Happened. My knee, it was hurting so bad. And it was super tender to touch. I know it wasn't like bone related. It was definitely just like skin related. A bruise. A bruise. A hematoma? I will say I'm lucky in this. The doctor said I have a hematoma? I've, I was diagnosed. Everything I do is bone related. Sense of like... <laughs> Falling on my knee, I feel like I have a lot of cushion to I back that up. <laughs> so I didn't like hurt a bone or anything. I definitely like hurt your your knee has a lot of cushion. Okay, hurt my skin and like hurt the fat. Like I was massively bruised, and thankfully that's gotten a lot better. But yeah, let's I, see. Let's see. It. I just had to share that story time with you guys because it was just weighing on my mind. And I was also journaling and um, I was looking back on the day that it happened and I was like, oh my. Look at this fucking clickbait shit out of here. God, I haven't even told YouTube about that. So I've had people ask me where I am getting. Desperate for some kind of clickbait there. The wannabe legos from i'm getting them from amazon and you can actually see when i a fucking what is that a coffee grinder get a fucking coffee grinder learn a learn a fucking skill imagine oh my god imagine amber lynn with like an espresso machine i purchased them <laughs> lol really bad pull this time guys but these are just some of the ones that i have oh yeah look at all the boogers on her screen ew Ew, look at the boogers. Ew, fucking sneezing all over it and shit. Recently shown you guys. <sighs> so I just wanted to click on them and show you. They look like shit. Uvini? So you can see what to type in. Nephilis? Okay. These sound like... These sound like fucking made up brands, which is classic, classic Amazon, because Amazon sucks now. Sorry, Twitch. Uh, just fucking these like drop shipped fake companies. They just name it just random, just type in random things as the company name. And then when they get bad reviews, they just change the company name to something else. Brand name generic. <laughs> Buying building blocks from Grimpo. <laughs> but yeah, all of these I purchased on Amazon. Amazon Vini? is amazing. Like, literally. So. Work for one yeah, as a designer? I purchased oh, yeah. a lot of them in the beginning of July. Pink Bee? I honestly don't think I have ever gotten a wannabe Lego from any other website besides Am Amazon. Amazon because they just have so many to offer. Y'all should go watch this video by no. Pink Sparkles. It's the Bean Boozled Spicy Jelly Bean Challenge with no. her boyfriend. Austin. Get the fucking boogers off of your screen. Austin, I'm the one who sent those to her because I needed her to do that. It was one of the Christmas gifts I got her. That was one of those things that she had shipped from the U.S. over to her. And it cost like $400 in shipping. Just fucking have them delivered to her house. Y'all, go watch this. I'm 6 minutes and 40 seconds in. And it's so funny. It makes me want to try. Let's do... Oh, God. You know, that means that's coming up. A question. So I'm going to take a popsicle. BF looks like one of the seven doors, but if he was on the Jersey Shore. Ronnie? Stick. If you guys are new to my channel, you're probably like, what are you doing? And that's okay. <laughs> Dopey, snazy, sleepy, Ronnie. We got number 10. So I'm going to put 
the answered oh, ones <laughs> in here. So question number 10, if you didn't do YouTube, do you think that you would be 500 pounds? Honestly, probably. There's like a misconception okay. that like I've gained all this weight because I'm a YouTuber, because I don't have a job, like a normal job. I clearly have a job, but I don't have like a nine to five. Whoa. I don't have to leave the house every day. I don't have like a schedule. And honestly, when I did have schedules, like I've gone to school, I've gone to college, I've had several jobs that I had to be at. And I- Wow. Very impressive. I've had several jobs that were in person. A schedule. And honestly, when I did have schedules, like I've gone to school, I've gone to college, I've had several jobs right. that I had to be at. And I was always over 400 pounds. I reached 420 pounds at the age of 16. And like what, I'm 100 pounds from that. So YouTube is definitely not the culprit, but I will say- The haters, the haters. What if you didn't have haters? <laughs> um, so like the psychology behind like triggers, food addiction, binge eating, turning to food for emotional reasons, harassment, oh, bullying. Oh, okay, it's the fucking haters. The haters did this. God damn it, if only people wouldn't write nasty things in the comments. Mm -hmm stresses of everyday life when God. it comes to the psychology of all that i will say that the stresses so with youtube has not helped amberlyn would be living in a utopia if it wasn't for the haters in the comments fucking becky fucking becky but i will not sit here and blame that's it that's it Sakura. youtube for my size because i have always been big always Okay, you guys, so closet clean out is still a thing, but I'm gonna be doing Struggles it. being me. And it a little differently for my vlogs. Instead of showing you every single one that I'm also keeping. I will be keeping? Which, I don't know, I felt like was a little pointless, unless I was doing like a separate closet clean out video. I'm only gonna be showing you the ones that I decided to get rid of that day. So, I decided to get rid of this shirt. I saved about like seven things. But this right here I'm getting rid of. It's just like a red maroon shirt with some like strings on the chesticle. A but chest I piece. Nice. I don't really want it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. I'm the literal I biggest will procrastinator you will keeping. ever meet in your life. But I have finally boxed we'll up the purses that I plan on getting book. rid of. So I just have them in an old Amazon box. And I'm more than likely just going to give the them to Goodwill. All right, you guys, you. I'm actually currently using my phone <laughs> for a light. <laughs> I'm just here to end my vlog. I'm so tired. My melatonin has kicked in. Thank God. Oh but my I'm God, when the fucking melatonin gummy hits. hope that you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, speaking of, oh my god, I don't think I ever gave my Snorlax lunch. <gasps> I need four I need four more Geodude candies and I can have a golem. How exciting is that? Playing Pokemon Sleep. Pokemon Sleep Apnea? Po Pokemon Sleeping Schedule? Crossfaded Meltdown and Delta 9. Delta 8, she's not on Delta 9. So, just quick, quick refresher here uh where is feline fat versus skinny milk bangers and eating panda express and then having a breakdown self-sabotage memories of when i was a child with photo with an open mouth crying thumbnail can't wait for that okay where's feline do you know do you see feline very good hey guys welcome to a new vlog so i am very low energy today and pretty sad um, okay so pretty normal day you guys know going through a breakup whatever whatever and today i just it's just a continuous wave of sadness so pretty so, pretty normal day that's just how i'm currently feeling right now and pretty normal obviously i hope okay. that it goes away but i don't know um i've been waking up Delta every day just feet feeling feel a bit. little tiny bit better but today i'm definitely backtracking unfortunately Backtracking. so i'm currently editing my vlog that you guys
Stop. There's a fucking MacBook right there. It's right there. It's right there. This is why it takes you fucking five hours to edit a vlog. There's no reason for this. Optimize something. God. Please. Learn HVAC. So yesterday, and I'm using my camera to film, obviously, but the memory card, I put it in here, and then I plug it into my phone, SD card. and all the videos slowly, but it... She's not fucking taking the SD card out of her camera and putting it into a dongle so that the video can go into her phone so that she can edit it. It's r there's a MacBook right there, you fucking buffoon. Oh my god. Who has the fuck- How- They make a dongle for you to fucking plug an SD card into your iPhone? Why? <laughs> it does happen. Um, gets exported into my phone, and then I go into iMovie and i sit here and i edit and i edit a lot like all these little lines um is me chopping oh I just that is seconds of work started on a computer um editing actually but i edit out a lot i always edit out a lot of my vlog like if you see a 15 minute vlog at one point it was 30 minutes then once i do that i have okay, to be more efficient i don't know what to tell you finish the editing export the whole video to my phone and then I have Imagine to how, mu how much simpler it would be if you ha could see the waveform of the audio and all that. To process it and upload it onto YouTube. It is a very long process, but no, I love it. It's, it's, not, it's really not. You're just, you're just really, really bad at it. Something I really enjoy. Like, if you guys watched my last vlog. Hey, Lilzers, how you doing? Editing this part. This clip was originally, like, five minutes long. And I edited it down to like 30 seconds, maybe. That's seconds of work. See all those little lines. Seconds right of work. Hello, hello. So I'm getting. I would just look at the little audio thing and see the parts where I slap the books down. In a late start to eating, I got some Panda Express. I wanted some Panda hey, Express. Hey, advanced calculus. And usually I get the three, like the that big plate where you get three like meats vegetables, whatever it may be, and then you get rice and or chow mein. Oh, literally everything that they sell there? You got you got the the, the thing that's just everything that they sell there? But instead you got, I got I got the thing where you get meat and vegetables and uh a, and rice. So this time I just got one of their like little bowls. So I just got some chow mein and their shrimp. But I also got an egg roll. I'm sorry, but they're sweet and sour sauce with what? these egg rolls, though. <laughs> Why are you apologizing so for the good. egg roll? Mmm. Their honey walnut shrimp slaps. Fuck sickos. So sometimes their chow mein is good, and sometimes it tastes like refrigerator. So, moment of truth has occurred. How's your refrigerator doing? What? <laughs> she doesn't taste bad. I might add a little bit of soy sauce. All right, guys. Okay. I have some Watch those sodiums. dishes to do here. These are all clean. Oh, so I'm so glad the fucking bins for your refrigerator are dishwasher safe. So I'm going to be putting them away. I don't use the dishwasher to actually like clean my dishes. I clean them by hand, but I do use the dishwasher to dry my dishes. Okay, okay. Fuck evaporation. <laughs> okay, alright. Just got done putting away the dishes. Now I'm thirsty. Gonna have me a Diet Pepsi. Caffeine, Caffeine free. free. Delish.
Good, good. I love the Zoe. Okay, you guys, so I just did... Ooh, I forgot to upload my um, Wawa drink review that I recorded earlier. Got another mellow wello. A little bit of closet clean out without you, but I wanted to show you what I decided to get rid of. So, uh, will just the shirt. Keeping? I call a caffeine-free Diet Pepsi a why bother. It is a black shirt and the sleeves. Oh, uh, it's because it tastes nice. Have like this polka dot tastes to it nice. and it's like sheer. I just don't like how this fits me. Not cute, not fun, not fresh. So getting rid of it. I was just scrolling TikTok and this TikTok came up. Dad mistakes daughter home from school for intruder shoots her dead. Up of this dad who shot his daughter because he thought she was an intruder. Okay. Like the saddest thing ever. Guys, my heart is breaking for them right now. Ever. And she's so young, like elementary school. Like, ugh. Are your my heart breaks hippies? for him, for her, their family, friends. They, they, like, that they, is. They were probably back in the. Actually, no, they're not old enough to <laughs> really. It's devastating. They were born in the 60s. Y'all, I took a little nap. Go ahead, tell me about gun control, Amberlynn. Go on, go on. You started the conversation. Let's go ahead. Let's hear about that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There was a little nap to be had. Because I have not been sleeping that great. Who cares? Who gives a... I haven't been sleeping that great? Oh, what, in the past fucking ten years? In the past decade? Sleep has not been so great? So you took a little nap? I don't know what is more emotionally provoking, this or the braille. Oh my Which god. Which is totes fine. <laughs> I was going cannon um, death row. A symptom of heartbreak. You know, just. No, not no, the no, 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 no. I think <laughs> this is definitely a symptom. However, but I think we're mistaking I the say root cause. something really good, because as you guys know, you know, I love me a THC moment. I've been taking some Delta just to like calm me, and usually it gives me like the massive munchies. But I noticed in the last okay, that's, that's great, great sign couple there. of days that that has not happened. So I think I love the self medicating. Like found a point within my delta eight situation type deal where it's like I don't get the munchies, but I also feel really good and like. Does delta actually work like this? It it has it has it has the effect of THC. Um, calm and stuff and i like loki in general but she's love that she's really milking it she's really milking that's it that's why i'm taking it and for a while there like i would get the munch she needs she needs she's taking it like it's cbd and it just it just doesn't have that in it it's gonna give her a psychotic episode. Yeah, something fucking weird's gonna happen right she's she's taking it as if she needs to fucking like mellow out but like cheese and stuff like it doesn't have it doesn't have the cbd especially just, when i would take it months and months ago she needs um, a different strain bro. um but i go through like gaps where i stop taking With the it melatonin do, yeah like I, don't know, I think i found like that sweet spot where i don't so you get that shit that like that, that like they say happens when people take like uh psychedelics and then like years later they like fucking have like a <laughs> something 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 clicks in their neck and they fuck to like have a fucking episode we'll get the munchies because that's like something that i was like obviously worried about because you know thc does help a lot but there are some downsides to it and that was one of them i haven't had to worry okay but it did make me sleep today and that felt really good i had like an hour and a half nap and i just needed it i really really did currently making a soup in the summer yeah, she, days. Should, yeah. she should get that shit where it's like Two parts CBD, one part THC, or something. Yes, right? I am. Only Amberlynn, huh? I've so, just uh, when when does this turn into a fucking solid brick? Craving broth. So I said, you know what? You've had flashbacks, let's make some really. Soup. While my soup is cooking, let's do a question. We got number twelve. I want to add more questions on here, ones that aren't just weight loss related. So if you want to ask me anything, definitely be following my Instagram. No, Any of my no, social no. media you can find down we'll below We'll never get in the daddy's pasta. Bar. Okay, so number 12. Should 300 pound plus 
people be allowed to do mukbangs? Allowed? Allowed by who? The fucking council of mukbangers? Like Yes, I do think they should. Because I Who the fuck says allowed? What is <laughs> what context? So like if they weren't allowed to, to the then it's like discrimination is definitely getting in the mix. And a lot of people think that YouTube should take down morbidly obese mukbangers or morbidly obese people who eat on camera. But YouTube prides themselves in a lack of discrimination. Like they try their hardest not to discriminate. If they were to do that, they would have a massive discrimination case on their hands because that How's that how's that fucking boot taste? <laughs> YouTube is actually really good. It's like saying uh, only certain people can drink alcohol really on camera. They people. Or only certain people can smoke a cigarette on camera. Like, who cares about the size on the scale? You should still be allowed to eat on camera. I have gone back and forth oh, wow. with this thought process 100%. Allowed is killing that's like me. where I'm at right now because a lot of people who do mukbangs who are super thin, they eat way more than the mukbangers who are morbidly obese. All right, let's see. What you're eating, how you're eating. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna acknowledge and, that. And all that, like, isn't healthy. Like, there's so many skinny mukbangers out there who will just eat so much. Like, several meals in one video, and it's crazy. Y'all, I'm having a weird and random thought that I should do low carb. This, this, this pause, this pause says it all. <laughs> this is the thing. This is the, the, the 200th, uh, fad diet is finally going to do it. <laughs> I just said no to Weight Watchers and now I'm stuck in this like weird place where I don't know what to do. So low carb is definitely up here in my mind. Hmm. Hi guys, so I'm currently sitting in my bedroom and I just filled this journal. I want to show you guys in an upcoming... Um, it's not, it's never going to work. It's never going to work because she finds these fucking loopholes and everything, which is why Weight Watchers didn't work. And then she did the thing where she pretended she was going to be vegan and Destiny now says like, yeah, and then she bought like fucking packs of Oreos and nothing else. Vlog. <laughs> all the journals I have filled. So if you guys don't remember, I always um, journal on the notepad on my fat phone fingers. or on my MacBook first. This is like the process of how I journal. It's been like over two years now. I type so much quicker than I write. The, the, the lighting source being f coming from below her, her face is very odd. And it's like my brain works really fast when I'm journaling. So it's. What are we? POV, you're camping with Amber Lynn. So much easier for me to type out how I'm feeling, whatever it may be, and then write it in my journal. So, anyways. You're telling that's just scary how I do stories it, by I the campfire. It. And it's like if I want to journal when I'm in a car or I have actually journaled at friends' houses before, like if I was staying the night or whatever it may be. But, like, I always leave the first page at the end when i'm done actually journaling in it i can write the the, the the angle and the lighting and stuff is really it's really i can't i can't focus on what she's saying it's like i'm fucking listening to fucking mufasa from beyond the grave like the beginning month <laughs> and how long the journal goes for so this one fucking the clouds parted and here's amberlynn to tell you how the journals work from october 26 2022 <laughs> to Remember. july 2nd 2023 <laughs> and that means like all of this like such a beautiful journal this is gonna be like breakup era like all of my feelings regarding it and everything because we broke up on fourth of july so i've already written a little bit in here i've written july 4th because like i said um the rest of that is on my MacBook, which I have to write down, and then when I write it down, I delete it from my MacBook. It's a whole process that I thoroughly enjoy. It makes journaling easier for me. And if you love to journal, whatever routine you have for yourself, don't let anyone try to talk down to you about it or anything because everyone has different journal routines. Uh, but yeah, okay. I've actually gotten a lot of questions about July 4th, like what led to the breakup, like 
why did it happen it was something that we've been oh, talking about yeah, let's for, get this story I'd say about a let's month. get this story like, Lena and i are in love with each other that's very apparent i mean she told you guys that herself and <laughs> not enough apparently people are also asking like why she hasn't been in the videos i don't want to speak for her but what she told me is she just feels kind of awkward right now which i understand because she's always been a little awkward on that's how you guys broke up she feels a little awkward right now camera and she said just ever since she was in the video kind of like explaining her side um i don't know i think that the way that people reacted about that made her feel bad i guess and that kind of breaks my heart really i mean she's never really been hardcore in my videos but i know a lot of you like to see you know her arm or her leg or just hear her talk and i think right now she just doesn't want that and i can totally <laughs> yeah everyone's been asking to see her leg Fully understand, you know, this isn't her job. She doesn't have to be on here, and I completely get it. Hi, hello. Damn, anyway, next scene. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking uh, how we uh, broke up and everything. Anyway, next scene. <laughs> have editing Amberlynn. I, <laughs> I just woke up a little bit ago. Okay. But, um, I also- Man, sure gets a lot of sleep for someone who hasn't been sleeping well. I want to make it clear. But, like, she's not a social media person. She's a very private person. And she was only <laughs> ever, like, vocal in my videos, like, for me. Because you know what she needs? Pokemon sleep. I still got room for, like, 20-something more friends on there. We were in a relationship, and now that we're not, like, she doesn't have any, like, obligations. Um, of course, right. So, naturally. Yeah. Naturally. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Um, a lot of people are like, so- Remember, Simba. Remember, <laughs> why July Fourth? Like, what happened? Like, you guys still saw fireworks, so like, I don't understand what happened. <laughs> I don't really want to go like obviously into detail because it is personal. This is what you get when you edit on your phone. On both You're of right. our ends, but yes, we did end up breaking up before fireworks and i still really really wanted to go see fireworks it's my mom's favorite holiday so while my mom's watching fireworks and her what the f what is, is she telling the story right now of how they broke up her state i feel like connected to her in a way so Feline and I still went. She didn't want to at first. Okay. And then when she realized how important it was to me, we still ended up going, you know. Okay, hold on. I need to get, I need to hear this back. Up, so like, I don't understand. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Um, a lot of people are like, so why July 4th? Like, what happened? Like, you guys still saw fireworks. So like, I don't understand what happened. I don't really want to go like, obviously into detail because it is personal on both of our ends. But yes, we did end up... So they broke up before the fireworks. Breaking we up before that. fireworks. And oh, I still really, really wanted to go see fireworks. It's my mom's favorite holiday. So while my mom's watching fireworks in her state, I feel like connected to her. You weren't even watching the same fireworks? Also, fuck fireworks. Am I right? Enough of that shit. Get some drones or something going. Her in a way. So... Felina and I still went. She didn't want to at first. And then when she realized how it important it- It upsets my pets. It makes them scared. And they run and hide. And they won't eat dinner. I don't like it. It was to me. We still ended up going. You know, going to see fireworks where we did was something that we had planned for- Let alone the, the, the impact to local wildlife. Getting all fucked up. Running. Abandoning their- their fucking group, they're all that running out into the street, shit like that. For like two months. I don't know. It's just like people insinuating just because we went and saw fireworks together means the breakup's not real. I still can't believe that people actually still think that I'm faking this. Trust. If I was to fake a breakup, like there would be some tea involved. Playing the stream out loud in the office because sure. I'm the only one. But I'm here never gonna today. say anything bad Feel about like a rebel. I'm never gonna spill tea about her. Penis. Nothing. Um, and she's not gonna do that regarding me either. She wants nothing but the best for me and I want nothing but the best for her, like okay. her literal best friends. And I truly never realized how common it is for people to actually live with their exes on like a friendly term until y'all started messaging me on Instagram. And I'm like, 
Okay, y'all making me feel better. Thank you. By the okay. way, the lighting is kind of crazy. As, as if that's something new to you. That's that's pretty funny because that's that literally is every relationship because it's that you have nighttime. I'm getting ready to go to bed, um, and the lighting in my bedroom is no good. The light on the ceiling has to be changed. Anyways, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see. <laughs> Who's gonna do that? Who's changing the fucking ceiling light? See you in my next one. Bye. Get an LED light. <laughs> Am I right? How many amber lens does it take to replace a fucking light bulb? What's the answer? Uh, anyway. We got... Ever see how buff a kangaroo is? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, truck nuts. How are you doing? <sighs> Kangaroos will will kill, I hear. They uh they're big fans of 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 uh drowning and deboweling, disemboweling. So, don't mess with them. That's what they say. That's what they say. What about degloving? Yeah, the big degloving fans. As all uh, marsupials are. Uh, having a breakdown. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Uh, Self-sabotage and memories of when, when I was a child with photo. Okay. Um, fuck sickos. Let's go ahead and watch that. Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. So I was on TikTok. Why is she always sitting her fucking ass on Feline's bed? Fucking go somewhere else. That is so weird. She's so Feline's sleeping on the couch post breakup, and Amberlyn just cannot fucking stay out of that room. Like I know it's a fucking living room or whatever, so like you know you're gonna you're gonna find your way in there. But like, how about some fucking distance, some some privacy? She fucking couldn't go take a nap if she wanted to. Like, tonight <laughs> I have like this thing that I do. It's a little schedule where right before bed I just scroll on TikTok, and it, something about it just like calms me down my melatonin's flowing through my body you and fucking everyone else and i don't know what it is i do it for like 20 minutes it is what it is and i got this tiktok that popped up about like something about like when you have a jeep which is one of my favorite cars by the way i'm not really a car <laughs> you have a favorite car okay interesting <laughs> fucking pause again Oh, you like cars? Name three. Her say when they had a fucking Hyundai and she was like, Hondas are supposed to be reliable. Car girly, but I do like a Jeep. Um, I like a G-Wagon, if we're being. Okay, well, see, that's the G-Wagon. I got, this is going to be. Like, super detailed. So, anyways. Okay, so the G, so the G-Wagon is not is not a jeep i mean if you're if you're calling the type of car a jeep as as it was known maybe in like the fucking war times like you know they just have these these boxy cars that they called a jeep but I um i saw this tiktok <laughs> where there was like tons of ducks on the she's like i remember World War Two. <laughs> Jeep, and I was like, "Is this one of those things on TikTok that isn't actually real?" I just open my blinds, which I do every single morning. Guys, I just learned about World War Two, and literally, my heart is breaking for all of these innocent people. Morning, and there's a Jeep. There was okay, like. Hold on, let me hear this story. Um, I like a G wagon. If we're being like super detailed, so anyways. Um, I saw this TikTok where there was like tons of ducks on the Jeep and I was like, is this one of those things on TikTok that isn't actually real? I just open my blinds, which I do every single morning and there's a Jeep 
parked across from my Berlin apartment. Oppenheimer review. The whole windshield. I mean, there's wait. A- so they like just dropped a nuclear bomb on like cities of people. That is like so sad. At least twenty dots. Like I know I'm like I- so s- empathetic. I was like. But- Oh my that god, just kills this is me. a real thing. I don't drive, I don't have a Jeep, but I'm almost tempted to go buy some little ducks just to put on Jeeps. I don't know why people with Jeeps do this. I don't know, but I just learned it and now I'm physically- Buy some ducks? But, I mean, there's at least 20 ducks. And, I, and there's a Jeep parked across from my apartment. What is she saying? The whole windshield. I mean, there's at least like a like a like a little sticker. Twenty ducks, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is a real thing!" Like I don't a drive. like a little window cling thing. I don't have a jeep, but I'm almost tempted to go buy some Leave little ducks duckies. just to put on jeeps. I don't know why people with jeeps do this. You can't, I don't know. You can't just say to me, "I'm gonna go buy a bunch of ducks." Oh, but I just learned it, and now I'm physically seeing it in real life. I've had uh, jeep owners. Uh, Jeep owners stay being fucking insufferable. <laughs> Am I right? Um, and I used to have a Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, and that was probably uh, the I was that was probably the moment of my life that I was probably the shittiest person that I ever could have been. So, checks out. <laughs> Not a good day today. Um, I got my dress stained, so I'm gonna change my shirt real quick so i will be right back i just think it's so funny because the last time that happened um this is, i don't know why this just made me think um in the video i want to say maybe it was yesterday like, like a little yesterday or maybe the day before i said something about like chiropractors like oh chiropractors fucking bullshit like if they if they if people experience relief from going to a chiropractor, then that's great. I'm happy for them, but I think they're bullshit. Uh, I saw there's a comment. I'm probably not gonna be able to find it. I don't know, but there's <laughs> someone was like, was like, uh, I have whatever problem, and uh, I need the chiropractor to do my adjustments. Cause guess what? Sp- spines get all messed up and whatever. Uh, just because. It doesn't you know just like doesn't work for you if you don't think that if you think it's bullshit don't go to one isn't that what i isn't that what i said isn't that what i, I did i say i think it's bullshit but if people if people get relief from it then i'm happy for <laughs> isn't that what i said i said that i'm not gonna go to one and i was also wearing that dress so like what's happening oh well, i have had such a hard day today I have not been wanting to film. That was me I've been back on my like heartbreak bullshit, like crying and just feeling super unmotivated to do anything really. Y'all, I literally just slammed my finger in a door. My mom stands by the theory that every chiropractor couldn't get into medical schools they resorted to chiropractic practices. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna comment on that. I'm, I'll get canceled <laughs> again. No, yes I did. I was taking Twinkie Potty. When I was coming back in. Oh, you know what's a, a fun fact? Uh, one time, my mom was um, getting an adjustment from a chiropractor, and uh, my brother and I were like at the office or whatever, just like waiting in the waiting room or something. Uh, the guy fucked up and fucking did something to her neck, uh, and she was like horribly sick and like throwing up, and uh, uh, had to go to the hospital and thought she was gonna die. And luckily, my brother, like, remembered the number to, like, my grandparents' house to tell them that, like, they need to come get us or whatever. Because my mom was, like, basically, like, totally incapable of doing anything. And I don't know what I did, but, yeah, now my finger, it's not bruised, swollen or anything, but... It's like throbbing a little bit, so that hurt. But I wanted to do some P.O. Box. I still have my P.O. Box, so if you want to send me anything, here's my P.O. Box. 
like my contract for the P.O. box is for the next couple of months, so you guys can still send me stuff. I've had people ask. The contract. So first thing, do not open send is food. This package do here. not send food. So these are some really pretty earrings from Bobby. Thank you so freaking much. Like, look how beautiful those are. Their dad actually. Hopefully, she checks it. Uh, at some point. Around uh, July 31st to August 4th. Made them for me. Specifically for me. She may be expecting me. something. So that's like super freaking sweet and amazing. Thank you so much. Like to think of me and to like fireworks. take the time to do that. They're <laughs> stunning. So the next thing is this package right here. Which there's no note to. But it's a book called Life Isn't Weight on the Bathroom Scales. Come on. Come on. What is this fucking... Come on, guys. Please. <laughs> Please. Let her just... By Laura Rose. So I guess it's a... Why is everyone trying to intervene? Why is the book like from the 80s? Is this a... Yeah, what is this? A fucking uh, a romance novel or something? Why does Laura Rose put a fucking rose on the... Why... What is this fucking AI-generated fucking <laughs> book cover? <laughs> Life isn't weight on the bathroom scales by, scales by Laura Rose. Input into Adobe Firefly, and this is what it spits out. Book about, like, <laughs> debunking myths about weight loss industry, I guess. So whoever sent this to me, thank you. Okay, you guys, so whoever. I'm about to actually show you something super, super, like, special oh, to me. God. So I'm just going to do a real quick backstory i am the oldest of four i have three younger brothers and when i was first put into foster care me and one of my brothers were put into foster care while the other one actually got put up for close adoption so he was adopted and that was one of the hardest things that i've ever had to go through and then my mom ended up getting pregnant again and she ended up having my baby brother and i, I only Gina. got to meet him once. guys i'm so sorry i gotta pee all right Okay. You know, my body craves uh, a new Pokemon Legends game. Legends Arceus was so amazing. That's the Chini Mini and Puppy Dog. <sighs> Is this Skyrim playthrough on YouTube? I don't think so. That was just one of the many times I fuck around with. Skyrim on stream make a I just make a character and play it for like two days With some weird scenario like Shrek or Zachary Michael or something Hi little puppy dog We got a Taze Apprentice just subscribed Taze Apprentice subscribing with Prime a primer Thanks so much appreciate it. let me see some sandwiches in the chat for Taze Apprentice Meow. Cat on the keyboard. All right, we're gonna continue this here. Hi, puppy dog. How are you doing? Beating the heat over there? Oh my god, it's five eleven already. Sheesh. Zach's telling me how that when Pokemon Crystal came out, he and his brother were so addicted to it, his mom made them quit cold poke. <laughs> cold pokey. Oh, I get it. I get it. The time to go cold pokey. I'll let you know you can get it back. Oh my god. Um, my brother had a red version on his Game Boy Pocket. Um, and he used to let me just kind of like mess around with once I was really young at that point. Um, but then I got uh, a Game Boy Color and we, I got silver version when it came out and he got gold. And oh my god, I love silver version so much. That's probably why it's my favorite to go back to. The old Gen 2. Wow. Wow. Anyway. That's funny. Yeah, fucking... <laughs> Parents really, really did not accept uh, video games for, for the most part around, <laughs> around that time. It was very... Love, go go learn HVAC. That was what that was all they, that was all they all they ever said was go go learn to code. Go learn HVAC. Learn to weld. His dad called them thumb games. Oh my god. One time, my mom actually. Had 
I mean, and like, like, yeah, because because it was always like, oh, you can't, you can't, you can't make a living off of a video game. You play your little games or whatever. And it was like, it was kind of true. <laughs> kind of true for the most part back then, other than like, if you wanted to go like work at fucking Nintendo, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and then after that, it was still like, oh, yeah, you're going to play video games? What, are you going to be the top fucking 0.1% so you can compete and earn some fucking competition money or something? And, like, that was still a point then. But now it's like, there's the content creators, there's there's journalists, there's... Even, even if you compete and don't win, you can just get sponsorships and shit. It's all different now. Had him while I was in foster care, but I was okay, able to. She's telling the story about her siblings. Sorry. Anyway, G4 TV. Ended up having my baby brother. Through military family, so Game Boy is lifesaver for my mom. She took out PlayStation to Iraq when she got. To play. Oh, wow. And I only got to meet him one time. My mom actually had him while I was in foster care, but I was able to go to the hospital where she had him for a supervised visit. And I held him in my arms and my mom actually sent me a picture. I don't even know how she still has it, but she sent me a picture of that day. <laughs> yeah, she did. Like, there's not a lot of things I remember from my childhood, but I remember that moment and I remember that day and I remember how like wonderful it was but also how hard it was. So in this photo I am about 12 years old and three years later I actually wrote a poem. So I was 15 and I still have that poem. I remember when I was- Why is she talking about this? Uh, it's just, I guess it's just the topic of the day. I don't I'm in high school um i went to the trailer where i used to live and there was still some stuff laying around um couches and ugh, things were torn apart by the police and it was just insane okay. but there was a few things still left um in my we got a lemon lime fantasy just hey soccer gift of the tier one to lemon lime fantasy they thanks. have given 370 thanks for breaking that up channel. thanks for saying <laughs> Need, need, some, need something to break this up a little bit. I've seen this video before, and this segment is the most interesting thing she shared in a long time. Yeah, she says, because it's details that we haven't really heard much of, right? Why are things turned about turned apart by the police? Uh, she said before her parents were like horrible drug addicts, and probably I don't know if they I don't know if they sold to or whatever, but. And then all problems with, like, them not being fit to care for their kids and stuff. All very sad and, like, it's, like, obviously there's a lot of trauma from that, which explains a lot of things about, um, Amberlynn there. What was I gonna say, though, totally unrelated, uh, to the comments? What was something about fucking playing Game Wars? Oh, no, uh, G4 TV. I feel like I remember, like, watching G4 and they're just... Those, those random shows just obsessed with the whole fucking Psycho Mantis sequence. <laughs> In this game, they turn your TV off, and he reads your memory card. It's crazy. Then probably said something horribly sexist and whatever, because that was the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just like my ex wife. <laughs> my room. And one of those things was the poem that I wrote about my baby brother, who I only got to meet one time. And through all Gets the years all up in your business, just like my fucking ex wife. <laughs> in Alive, because I'm 32, um, I have been able to keep that poem. So I want to show you the picture. I also want to read you the poem. The poem is not that good. Remember, I was 15, okay? But it was special and important to me, and I really want to. Open up a little bit more and show it. You're out there under the Very same nice. room. We placed our feet on the same gravel. Oh, she reading her poem? I met you once and held you tight. I think of the sadness of my last goodbye. You looked at me with baby eyes. Oblivious to your future versus mine. Our mom made the choice while I suffer the consequence. Although I saw everything we could be. Our mom made the choice and set you free. A brother I will love forever, who will never love me. My first brother that was put for adoption. Is, now this really is a change up in her content. 
This is certainly not a mukbang. Close to, saved his life and everything. I still don't know where he is. I think about him, dream about him, miss him, love him dearly, and I just hope that he's okay. But the one in that photo that I just showed you guys, he found us. The the air the the AirPod in the ears throw me off a little bit. Are you going to start talking about how you hate reading? Well, luckily she read it out, so I didn't have to read it. A few years ago, so he is actively in my life, and I can safely imagine someone out there having no idea they're related to her. Oh my god! Say that you know that last line in the poem isn't true. He loves me, and I love him, and I've never been so grateful. And I can only hope that my other baby brother will find me one day, hopefully. Okay, so right now I'm actually. Um, I can find. I'll find him. And kind of thinking more of like. Give me all the info. What is it that I want to do? with myself like i thoroughly so true so true really just feel so lost as a person learn to weld and right now i just feel so lost and i just need to find myself be myself did you check the hole in the bottom of the sea Am like I right? just wholeheartedly volunteer i don't care about go. what anyone says about me i just i don't care i just need to be myself and i have to keep like reminding myself Do of that window because treatments. the only person i got right now is myself that's the only person i got right now and find with jesus how lost i feel Honestly. like if i didn't even have myself i just i don't even know like i just don't even know go to the park just, like amongst all that and just like feeling lost i i know that i'm gaining weight like i actively see it in my face when i'm editing and it do you think her family knows about her channel and or hater nation. Uh, the ones, yeah, the ones that she talks to, definitely, right? Because she talks to, she says she talks to her mom a good amount and whatever, right? Fine, Gracie, yeah, there you go. Kind of shocks me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie because, like, it's hard to Imagine notice. Imagine if ALR had a religion to talk about. She would find fucking Scientology, knowing her. It's also really hard to notice weight gain on my body and the fact that i can like physically see that i hate it i hate it so much her mom like, was the the swirl pound cake you mean the uh the uh carrot cream cheese coffee cake sit around and sit and wait and wait and wait like what am i waiting for you know and i don't no, know i'm watching why, my youtube like, videos could never I post this sort of like stuff knowing my family watches me feelings of guilt what kind of what kind of videos you make and i talk about guilt a lot in therapy um with things that happened in my past when i was younger things that were definitely not my fault and it's like don't my therapist is trying to teach me like about when thing. it's okay to feel guilt and uh, when i'm feeling guilt for thing. like reasons that all right. really don't make sense forgive things yourself that I shouldn't feel forgive guilty yourself for. But something I'm feeling like Learn to weld. a sense of guilt, which I feel like is sabotaging me, like I'm doing like a self-sabotage situation type deal. It's like take a delta. Not with Feline. Like a lot of people, you know, thought she was a feeder and like all this nonsense. Okay, that's all not right, true. interesting. The whole time she was so supportive and she wanted me to lose weight. And it wasn't because of physicality, because she finds me beautiful. And for that, I'm forever grateful because she actually made me feel that way a lot. And um, okay. it was just fucking I Becky. Fucking Becky hated my guts. Never appreciated me. Zach bought me some Reese's sticks last night. Man, I've been. I'm so out of the the the. Uh, commonly available candy game. I don't even know what a fucking Reese's stick is. Last time I went home from trivia, I called him a feeder. <laughs> nice. <sighs> and because of stamina. And, you know, stamina? she wanted to have stamina? a whole life with me. And, obviously at this size, she was only able to have, like, a partial part of that instead of like what she fully wanted you know i honestly think like, she wanted a third and amber couldn't handle it maybe maybe because i know i know that was like a whole that was a whole issue at the beginning well act well i mean according to amber Lynn, it's a different person from wifey but um yeah i remember that being an issue then uh, wifey's polly we couldn't hop on a plane and go to bora bora 
because of me. I had all this support from her and all the guidance. She always urged me to exercise and to eat healthy and do right. And it's like, if I do that now, if I do that now, I'm gonna feel so guilty. Because it's like, why didn't I do that when I was with her? So it's like, I have this like guilt feeling. <laughs> And I know I need to talk about it in therapy. And like, okay. I've talked about it to Feline, obviously. Like, it's something we talked about earlier. You'll feel. Was she talking about losing weight or something? Like, if she does it. If she does it now without being with Feline anymore, then she'll feel guilt. Today, I, don't, just I like, don't know. I don't even know. She what to obviously say. doesn't don't, want me to feel I don't this know way. what like, to say to that. If we're together or not. Like she wants. I really. I have no. I have no advice for that. To succeed, just, but it's damn. Like, like oh, going to born. <laughs> why do I feel so bad that like if I succeed now, when we're not together? I, I, I just keep going to that therapy. I guess I got nothing. I got nothing for that. You'd feel bad like getting your shit together. <laughs> like it's such a weird my thing in my brain like that i just can't i just can't yeah, understand keep that therapy it just makes going. me feel guilty like i don't know i hate never it so forget much. that MP. anyways i don't want to sit here and Hell just yeah. like blubber and cry and whatever um so i'm trying to sit here and like take away those feelings of like yes Amberlynn, you didn't do it while you were with her but do it while you're not with her. You don't have to be with her to do it. And you don't have to feel guilty for succeeding while not being with her. And I have to figure out like how I can say that and actually mean it. <laughs> A lot of people like have said in the past that it seems like I self-sabotage myself and it's like the first time ever in my life I feel that I way. What I'm going that for. I'm like subconsciously self-sabotaging myself. And I'm like just tripping about it and I just I don't know it's like the craziest feeling that I just cannot wrap my head around fully. I'm trying to ignore it and I'm trying to push it away but sometimes when feelings are so strong that's like sometimes virtually impossible to do. So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to make like a store list and trying to decide like what just makes the most sense to me. And it's like I just want to like a do store list? I just want to eat healthier. You know, just take out the junk, take out the fast food, unless it's something super healthy, but even then it's just like, it's hard for me to choose healthier fast food options and takeout options. I don't know fast why. Fast food and like, takeout. can be easy. Like, realistically it can Well, be. how did we get here? You're making a shopping list? I just feel so guilty making this shopping list. But I, yeah, I just groceries. make it yeah. so much more difficult than it needs to be. Like soap opera <laughs> licks for real. So I don't. What is that? Pen to paper. You mean like I have, music that would play in a soap opera? An organ? I don't. I don't know. I've never, never watched a soap opera. Learn to. Cook. I've made yeah. a store list, so we will definitely do a grocery haul and. I don't know. I just... She's guilty because she could have done this while she was dating. Vomit, still dating wifey. And honestly, off topic, kind of off topic. I just you don't know what you got till it's being, gone. Like, my video diary audience. I appreciate it. And I've also heard around the grapevine, if you will, people are like, this is supposed to be... The fucking grapevine? The rumor mill? You know, Amberlynn's single era. Like, she's supposed to be just like popping off and like having a glow up and... No, I'm not in my single era. I'm in my heartbreak era. I am in my I am broken era. I am in my I'm lost Same era. Shit. I'm in my Same I'm freaking thing. sad. I am grieving. I am mourning era. I'm not in hi learn to scuba single Lynn era. That's not where I'm at right now. And it's like A if you can't appreciate me. Pringle? Being vulnerable. Just kind of accepting that this is where my life is at right now. It's like 
bye. Obviously, like, there's no connection between me and you, so why are you watching? Well, did you expect ALR to have a glow up? I remember you predicted that. What, what, what is, what are you referring to? When did I, when did I predict an ALR glow up? <laughs> Five years ago? <laughs> Done with the word error. Ever, ever. I feel like all the people that I watch, there's like some sort of connection, and anyone that you I did when? When did I? When did I predict a glow up? When? Like hate. I can't watch. Like that's. Amber like... should start a Dark Souls run. Go for, yeah. Go for um. Go for a Deathless run. What she needs is therapy and possibly multiple appointments a week to help her regulate. That sounds like a great idea, Wilma. Like, so hard for me. Law and order. <laughs> and I know that if there was anyone that I was, watching, was going me. through what I was going through, like, my heart would go out to them Touch and I would grass. understand where they're coming from and, like, where their life is and all of that. And I just feel like people are expecting... Lobotomy eclairs, yeah. A lot out of me right now when I... <laughs> It's hard for me sometimes just to get out of bed. I'm finding things to do with my life to distract myself, but there's only so much distraction that I can do. There's only so much, you know, talking I can do to other people or journaling I can do. There's only so much of those things okay. until it's just like it all ran out and I'm back to feeling that just like horrible wave of just sad. So yeah, okay. this is like a video diary for Go me. Get indoctrinated. This is my single era. Go get indoctrinated. This is my heartbreak era for sure. And I just wish people were a little more kind. I really do. Go get. <laughs> Let's see some of the comments on this bad boy, right? You feel guilty for a success you haven't ever achieved? God damn. How is Twinkie... And is she getting walked for the right amount of time each day? Don't ask, don't ask questions that you'd know the answer to. Um, her wanting to go buy ducks for other people's jeeps without actually owning one. <laughs> is so on brand. Go bake some hard tack for the for the 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 men down in the mine. Okay, um so so there's four videos now. Four videos now to uh catch up on and they're all about fifteen minutes itch, so it's gonna be a lot to get through and it's four forty three. Um, uh yes, yeah, so we got these four videos here. Uh they are Booty beauty lying about her weight. What the fuck does that have to do with me? Reaction channels are biased. Okay, okay. Let her cook, let her cook. And air fryer pork chops. That sounds like something that should never happen for a, a multitude of reasons. <laughs> so that just sounds truly horrific. Um, I can't imagine something worse. The real reason I didn't get weight loss surgery and my lipedema pain vlog full day of eating as opposed to what uh disneyland at 400 pounds i guess this is gonna be a story time and i haven't brushed my hair in two weeks you could have gone to the grave with that uh i am i am am i looking for a girlfriend if i lose weight no one will watch me anymore vlog okay so we're gonna start with Foodie Beauty lying about her weight. Why is that her title? Why, how would that be her title? Why would this be the title of her video? Anyway, reaction channels are biased and air fryer pork chops, which we can probably skip. Uh, okay, here we go. Hello. Hi. Oh, not like not like this. Not like this. 1080p premium. Get that YouTube premium. I, I like I like YouTube. I decided. Um, <laughs> I think I think I like watching YouTube better than uh, watching Twitch because uh, I get YouTube Premium and then I never get ads, and it still supports the people that I watch when I uh, 
I mean, not that I want to monetarily support uh, Anne Berlin, but the convenience is is out of this world. And then I try to watch something on Twitch, and it's just like, oh, let me sit here for a fucking minute and wait so I can Hi. be included in the conversation. Welcome to a new blog. <sighs> so I am just about to Thank you. do my makeup, and while I do it, I'm going to listen bag. to Leftovers. It's one of Ethan Klein's podcasts. It's not my favorite of the five he does a week, but I think I'm just gonna listen to it for some white noise. So yeah, okay. I will see you guys when my makeup is completed. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I had something else, some other entertainment to consume other than my least favorite Ethan Klein podcast, but here we are, nothing to watch anymore. Twitch used to have a premium like you. I think there's still some kind of weird place to access that, but. Okay, so I am done with my makeup now. I am just on. In yeah, I don't. Yeah, okay, yeah, the turbo thing, which is a certain amount of month, and then you don't get like ads, right? But then, like, yeah, I, that, I, don't, I don't think they specify if any of that's going towards the people you're watching. Instacart. Um. We decided that we're going to order today and I'm just trying to think of, because as you guys remember in my last vlog, I'm just like all over the place when it comes to what I want in my life. Oh my God, I have eyeliner all over my fingers. Did she, did, she didn't just twist DoorDash into I don't know what I want out of life. Did she? <laughs> Can't figure out what to order from DoorDash like everything else in my life. Just love that for me and it's like i think i just need to go back to like basics when it comes to weight loss like the obvious like just eat healthier oh uh, yeah we're gonna take a step back and look at this from a better perspective um and i just noticed surely that, this like, is the time my brain when i think of like eat healthier goes to like meats and veggies i don't i don't know why because i've never been the one to okay. think that like carbs on are unhealthy but like carbs I'm, I'm like, I'm mad at carbs right now. <laughs> like, it's not carbs' fault. That oh, I'm you guys aren't, you guys aren't talking. First, first Feline, now carbs. Oh my God, you're burning all the bridges. Fat, but like, carbs and lipedema, they don't really jive very well. And I have lipedema, so I don't know. I just, I have the a lot on my mind right now. I'm fucking Becky. I know this is Becky's fault somehow. Just, yeah. So, so far on my Instacart, I just have. A bunch of meat. <laughs> oh, so now I'm gonna oh that's like the groceries the thing. That that's I know that I'll enjoy, thing. which is like broccoli and stuff. But I'll show a haul when it gets here. Y'all, why can't I just have like a forever Snapchat filter on my face? Like, look how cute. That's, this, a, you, that's called a tattoo. This is one of my most favorite Snapchat filters. So adorable. I thought I was... <laughs> it's people get those all Recording time. this whole time and I wasn't. <laughs> Let me start over. I got my groceries. And I hold this, but I had already put it away until I realized oh my, God. my camera's not even on. So I got some steak that I'll probably like cut up, cook in a pan. <laughs> oh, take all the shit back out of the fridge. It didn't record. What am I going to do? Put something else in this vlog? Got some thin pork chops that I'll probably do like in the air fryer. Got some potato. That can't be, that can't be good. Hello? Isekai girl, thank you. Potatoes, I know I was just talking about carbs, but having one potato never hurt anyone, I promise. I only didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, having one potato never hurt anyone? Who, of all the people to say one potato never, never hurt anyone. Honestly. We got a Guardian Gaming a Justice Brat. One potato made your shit pants, though. One potato meter shoot pants, though. Yes, guard game. Thanks so much for subscribing. Ten months. Am I fat? And you had to beat on my back, but like I choked on a potato and shit my pants and almost like died in front of you. Oh, like, I'm and glad she I got included some that clip. Good old white onion, which is she set herself up for that joke. My okay, first interesting. First. I got these loaded cauliflower bites, bacon cheddar. Amberlynn's her own reaction channel, apparently. So when I think I, I like I'm thinking like meats and veggies, like I'm not on good terms with carbs. Right I don't now. know. I figured something different. 
I really like the oh snap. Like, I don't care. She's the one making the rules. She's the one who starts the video going, we're, okay, so here's my Instacart order of, of meat and veggies. Pickles. And I guess they have a hot... This is, I'm getting severe deja vu right now. And I know that's just a common thing watching Berlin's videos. But come on, we've been right here before. We bite one, which is hot and spicy pickle. Figured I would try that. And then there's also these cauliflower wings and sweet chili. Figured okay, I would give that a try right, too. Okay. I got some Brussels sprouts. I love them cooked and raw. I recently discovered. With cottage cheese and mustard. Two bags of broccoli, which I also love cooked and raw. I got some turkey. <laughs> Who are you trying to prove this to, me? Smoked sausage. I like to cook this with like onion. Last but not least, I just got some chicken breast tenderloins let's do a popsicle stick question Ooh. all right let's see what we're getting today 16. these are the ones we've already answered popsicles. do you think chantelle lies about her weight wow that's some tea so when uh, I she she uh amberlyn posted a something on her instagram story yesterday and said like ask me something i just said can we get the recipe for daddy's pasta I don't know if she ever... I first started YouTube. You I guess can... you didn't see that one. Go back and look. I weighed about 370, maybe in the 360s. Um, it was definitely somewhere <laughs> around there. And I'm about, Never I would say, two right. inches taller than Chantel. I think Chantel's 5'1". She and she's literally saying... gets it wrong every single time. Like, she's just conditioned that it's Chantel. She's about 370 and I'm like five, two and a half, five, three. So based on my experiences, the way my body shaped, the way I used to look, et cetera, et cetera, I think she's a hundred percent telling the truth. And I understand okay. that that's not everyone's well, why don't you opinion, go marry which her is then? totally fine. But the same people who think she's faking her weigh-ins are the same people who think I'm faking mine. I'm definitely not. I have never faked a weigh-in. Ah, uh, yes, um, the hive mind, the I viewers. I even went to the good old weight loss clinic, weighed myself on their scale, vlogged it for you guys, uploaded it. And even after doing that, there were still some people in conspiracy theory land thinking that that wasn't even real. But just based on my experience, and all of that, I definitely do not think that she is lying about her weight. For some reason, there's just a large quantity of people who want her bigger than what she really is. And I have the same type of audience. Obviously, I'm not saying everyone's like that, but there is a portion of her audience and a portion of my audience who want us bigger oh than what we really God, are. Oh my God, someone <laughs> sent me a super thanks comment on YouTube. The thing where you comment on a video and you're just like, here's some, here's some cash. Feral girl. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's weird. It's creepy. But I feel like you have to be in that position to kind of understand how it feels. And I don't want people to think I'm sticking up Here's for Chantel. And it's just like, no matter if you're a good or a bad person, I think that like, <clears throat> why does the topic of how big someone is always has to be some weird conspiracy and people trying to make it like a lot worse than it already is when it already is pretty bad, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's just a mess. Okay, guys. So I wanted Probably to do a taste test of the Honey Bites. I don't think I've ever had spicy pickles from my remembrance, but who knows? Learn they HVAC. smell I wasn't like normal paying pickles. Attention. Oh, there's a hint of something going on. Jamie's been loving the Wickles pickles lately. There's a hint of spice. Got some tempura pickles uh, in Salem. It's like while you're eating the pickle, nice. it tastes like a normal pickle. But then when you swallow, it's like, oh, okay, I feel something. Does it bag of pickle. But see, I've said this before. When, when someone says bag of dicks, I'm, I'm, I always think of the, the bag pickle. Doesn't change the flavor bag of the pickle, of pickle at all. Just a hint of spice, so Pickle freaking good. Dick. Hello, beautiful people. So THC infused pickles, Delta. I'm actually currently Delta just journaling, and I do that on my MacBook. Journaling. Course. And I want to journal about five things that I am currently grateful for. So five. Man, things. last night took a, a nice, good swig of the <clears throat> a little the, the some of the last bits of the uh, weed water that was in the fridge. Um. And just just played some Mega Man Zero Four in bed. It was a nice time. I am grateful for, and I kind of just want to do this with you guys. So maybe you guys can do the same thing because I know, like lately, I've just been in a whole different world. Like I literally feel like I'm in a different world, and I have just been hurting. Two thousand five hundred journaling machine. Feeling so sad and just like I don't want to say self destructive, but I'm sure from an outside. <laughs> from I'm an outside not view, following. I look self destructive. Promise, I'm not. The but I forget to like saying. think of the things I'm grateful for and thankful for, and I feel like a lot what of people is this? take things for granted. Thanksgiving like, every single day. So what is this? Five things I'm grateful Church? for. Church. My fur babies is number one. 
Always number one. They're my literal heart and soul. Two, I'm going to say friends. Oh, prove it by taking care of them. Because friends are important. Oh, you love your fur babies? I've actually made a few new friends, so I love that for me. Three, I'm going to say Feline because I'm still extremely grateful for her, her friendship, who she is. I I mean, it seems like things are, like, better now, but, like, looking at, like, going through the the Becky era stuff, as I have been doing on my YouTube channel with the Willow Davis Zamberlin Becky era retro reacts, where there's 111 episodes of it now, it's so funny, like, seeing her, like, pan through that, like, den area that she totally took over with all of her garbage stacked up and then pretended she was going to use that as, like, a living room. Um, but then just kind of use it as a place to start her vlogs and store all of her fucking junk and decorate just for the sake of decorating. Anyway, so she like pan through that room and like you see in the corner, like the fucking cat food bowl with the giant container of cat food next to it all dry so that you can just scoop it in there. And then the fucking water bowl. With a fucking gallon jug of water next to it. So that it can be refilled. Like, please. Fucking, how hard is it? How fucking hard is it to take it over to the sink? Wash it out. Dry it. (laughs) Give the cat some wet food once in a while. Not out of the fucking can. Don't hand them the can. And I know I could categorize her (laughs) as part of the friends. But to me, she's more than that. And I also want to say I'm grateful for my family. Last but not least, I want to say I'm grateful for YouTube. My family? I want to say I'm grateful for you guys, my supporters, and you okay. guys. Or, like, or the time she's like, I have to give the cats the food, and then she just, like, fucking opens up the thing, scoops it out, puts food on top of the other food that's already in the on bowl. on my toes. Okay. Because you guys have been telling me, girl. Hey, Corona, thank 15 you. 15 days of uploading, don't mess up. I posted on my community post today, literally. I was like, oh my god, you guys, my video's gonna be up later. And I got a message on Instagram and someone's like, it better be up before midnight. I was like, okay. I got- the classic, classic King Cobra tactic. Better not go live, boy. Fuck you, haters. Now I'm live. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> better not upload this video before midnight, Amberly. <laughs> Community post today, literally. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you guys, my video's gonna be up later. And I got a message on Instagram and someone's like, it better be up before midnight. I was like, okay, I got you. So I quickly was better editing not it. Go live, I just had boy. like a busy, weird day. Obviously you guys haven't seen it because I didn't vlog it. My attention was definitely put somewhere else. I was completely distracted today. So like I started editing, 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 and I was able to get it up still at uh, the right time. It was five minutes before midnight. It's fine, I promise. I also wanna do five things that I am hopeful <laughs> for. Better get it up by in the midnight. Near future. I'm gonna put connecting with other people. That goes with like family, new friends, just new people in my life. So it's something I've that I'm hopeful for. I'm also hopeful this. for weight loss. I am hopeful for a new positive outlook on life because I just feel like lately it's been rap. pretty negative. I try to be optimistic in any sort of situation. Like put me in a situation that is like intense, stressful, Better whatever it may be, and I will on. figure out something to say that is on the optimistic side of things. But lately I have been such a pessimist and I literally hate that about me right now. I'm oh. also hopeful for okay. improving my stamina. And last but not least, improving my relationship with food. And Drive. honestly, it's so crazy because I named five things already, but I feel like I could continue Repairing a relationship with food? Now that I think of it, Thank like, there are a lot of things that I'm hopeful for in the near future. We know about I getting it up before like, midnight. Oh. Just stuck in this, like, really sad dark spot currently. And I know I'm going to get a out dark of dark spot? I've gotten out of every dark situation I've ever been in. Every dark spot that I've been in. I have gotten out of it. Splash her with some holy water or something. So I look at that and I look at my patterns in life and I know that I'm going to come out strong Have you heard of Jesus Christ? We're we're in the thick of it. He can get you through anything? What you know about being in the thick of it? An absolute savior for me. Okay, you guys. Uh, What you know about a savior? (laughs) Okay, okay, hold on. This is an interesting arc. What if if Amberlynn finds Jesus? (laughs) Um, pork chops. I have no idea what I'm doing, so come Imagine. Me gently, please. So I'm just gonna season. You know, what? I'm gonna have two. These are thin. With some garlic plates. 
This is what it is looking like. Just some raw pork chops. You're, and I'll show you guys. You're fucking one. disturbed. It's done. Okay, so it's been about six minutes and I'm nosy. You're a fucking freak. Oh! What? Only six minutes and it's already that cooked? I will never trust that air fryer again. I'm shocked. <laughs> so I'm weird when it comes to meat. <laughs> As so is a large <laughs> quantity of people. So I like to use a meat thermometer. <laughs> She's yes, agnostic, yeah. This smells so good, wow. Really so I'm gonna give this maybe another minute or two and then it's gonna be finished. All right, She's my pork chops are too. finished. Weirdly, it is literally all that. Looks like a fucking ear. I'm craving right now, so I don't feel like making anything else. The fucking Van Gogh special They don't do anything here. justice over here. Mmm. Oh god. That tastes so good, but I will say next time I should probably season it a little less. That's okay. <laughs> I haven't cooked a pork chop in I don't know how long it's been. Not me just using my hand. It's hot. Not me just using my hand. She can't enough. Enough. You're not allowed to use the TikTok so phrases. <laughs> but practice makes perfect, folks. I use too much seasoning. Ah, it's all probably it gentrified. And I'm able to scrape off some of the seasoning. <laughs> not me being a rookie and cooking meat in the air fryer. Oh my god. What a loser I am. Through this whole like breakup era, I have had Looks a like, lot well, of people hard reach tack. out. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I could go for some of that right now. Ding, ding, ding. Me Good on stuff. Instagram because my DMs are open, Arr. honey. If you need someone to talk to, me I'm body here craving the hard a distraction, tack. and I'm trying to like build new connections. And that just brings me like people are asking like, how did you meet friends? in your city if you never go anywhere. And I'm just like, I don't vlog everything. But um, recently birthday? when I was talking about the people- It's nice, it's nice. That I hung out with on 4th of July, I actually met them probably like a year and a half ago. I was at a bar. Yes, I was. That's weird to hear Amberlynn read. Okay, okay, let me go back because now this is, I, I heard one of the key words I've, have to, I've been having to listen for. Okay, go on. Everything meet friends like i want to a lot of people reach out to me on instagram because so my dms are open honey out. if you need someone to talk to i'm here where's the fucking daddy's pasta recipe then i asked because i've been needing a distraction and i'm trying to like Hopefully build new checks that PO box soon. and that just brings me like people are asking like how did you meet friends in your city if you never go anywhere and i'm just like i don't vlog everything but um recently when i was talking about the people that i hung out with on fourth of july i actually met them probably like a year and a half ago i was at a bar yes i was that's weird to hear amberlyn reed at a bar i oh, get yeah, it god forbid you vlog anything remotely entertaining i posted chat gpt's take on daddy's pasta in the twitch section on discord Ooh, i'll have to check that out Hi, buddy. I'm streaming. How are you? Yeah. Uh, I hope so. How was your day? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, when will you be home? Okay. Do you uh, have to get ready at all? Okay. I'll try to get through this stuff as quick as possible. I got, I got, I got delayed because everyone was very nice and wrote very nice messages for my birthday. And Segura put together a whole thing about everyone, with everyone's nice messages and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll show it to you. It's anywhere. It's, a, it's like a page. Yeah, true. I'll try. I'll try. All right. Love you. Bye bye. All right. Let's knock this out, guys. Let's get through this. Actually, went a couple times before I stopped drinking, and I Bar? haven't had a drink since April of 2022. I'm pretty so sure. But anyways, Berlin. I met this girl there, and Just then I later on met like eight. her cousin, and then that like ventured off, and I was able to like form friendships and of people lived happily that are ever outside after? of a relationship because i feel like i've always just like had friends because of my relationship 
or the people that were so in my true. partner's life. So I, true. Okay, hold on. She's on to something. Let her cook. Let her cook. It was always like in their life and a part of their life instead of them being in mine. It felt like a little bit. So it was kind of cool. Friendships. Like with Feline, it wasn't like that at all. She was part of she's, my life. She's spawn and camping she friendships. Friend. So it was just like, I don't know. It was kind of cool. It was new. It was different. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So this whole like breakup era has had so many of you guys reach out to me. <laughs> Fucking breakup era saying that like this whole thing has made you stop watching reaction channels and i just want to say thank you not for not watching them but for acknowledging see that's what's great about uh the willow davis amberlin becky r retro reacts is they're timeless the poison that reaction channels put inside of the community and it's not cute lacks empathy. what you know about putting it in the community the lacks empathy and you guys actually say it better than i do word it better than i do like, like i feel like there comes a time where it's like okay are you a reaction channel truly reacting or are you just like biasly nitpicking and just trying to keep the money flowing by not being empathetic towards my situation etc etc like so many of you have reached out to me and said like whoa i'm finally seeing like their true colors and i just think that's like interesting because I, this isn't directed at me back when i had cancer and this stuff it was kind of like me. So many people were like, oh my God, I'm so glad like the reaction channels aren't reacting to Amberlynn anymore. But then like, as soon as like, I made it very well known that I didn't have cancer anymore. They like hopped on the, the wagon again, the reaction wagon. And Surely it's like, no, oh, cool. She's not like, about you me. did something that just seems morally correct. And I feel that way, like in the same way, like when people are That's grieving or mourning or just like thoroughly having like mental illness, <laughs> I don't want to put it lightly, but like, I'm obviously clearly going through something and okay, just having mental illness. Okay. For, like so many people to put so much like bad vibes out there. And like the fact that people are kind of noticing that and like reaching out to me and like making sure I'm okay. Like I appreciate that so much. So oh, I just want to okay. say thank you. Like I appreciate that people are acknowledging that I am a human struggling right now and that I don't need to be kicked while I'm already down. And it seems Stop like that's what all kicking. the reaction channels are doing. Stop I don't know. Acknowledgement her. goes a long way. <laughs> her ankle's already dangling. Hi, this is Editing Lynn. She already shit her pants. She's actually uh, fully Stop ready for the day. Her. I just want to say that I forgot to end this vlog last night. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, that's one down. Okay, let's get on to the real reason I didn't get weight loss surgery and my lipedema pain lipedema hey guys welcome to a new vlog so i'm not fully wow. ready for the day but um i like to try to get my editing done before i get ready for the day or while i'm getting ready for the Must day be nice yes uh was it yesterday yeah yesterday i was a little floppy uh that's fine like a <laughs> floppy so disc <clears throat> editing right that's, now that's gotta slow down your editing <laughs> i'm showing you my grocery haul and listen to what i said Please, please fucking get a life. I'm begging you. Um, please, for the love of God, learn HVAC. <laughs> My name is Sadness. Great, great uh, username. Welcome on. Thanks for following. I was just talking about carbs, but having one potato never hurt anyone, I promise. You already made the fucking joke. You already made the joke. You don't need to show us you in the editing It'll process. It'll never hurt anyone, I promise. So I instantly Learn, knew exactly what to add to that. Not only did, am I fat and you have to beat on my back, but like I choked on potatoes and shit. My pants fell almost like died in front of you. Like, and fucking genius editor Lynn over are here. Are you like scared of potatoes now? No, no. I just need to chew them better. Okay, hello. Okay. I'm back. My makeup is finished. A Big lot of people, yeah. I hear you. So anyway, you guys uh, love when you're going like, to be this seeing this uh, whenever I eyes. upload it. Um, it's actually the what is this fucking musical ass triangle earrings? Little Nyx. It is fucking a tuning fork ass earrings. A, um, eyeliner in the color intense teal. Here's a close up. I don't know what I. Don't fucking oh, care. I'm just not. Fa I don't know. I need some like fake eyelashes. Like I used to wear fake eyelashes for a little bit there. Like. My mom got me into it. I know. Okay. The way that <laughs> what is my fucking makeup tutorial. So I have to go to my yeah, birthday just, dinner. Like, no, not gonna be happening today. Let's not gonna be happening up. tomorrow. I wish they made a magnetic hey, Bill, Thank eyelash you. moment, magnetic but like I wish the eyeliner was they, they, that exists clear, which I'm sure they do. Maybe I should do some oh, research. Oh, it's out or whatever, there. But. Clear eyeliner magnetic clear eyeliner i already have my video fucking what edited and everything so i'm about to birthday wow upload wow, maybe. it I'll probably first i'm going to probably schedule it obviously so i was just scrolling through good old social media be enough 
for yourself first. The rest of the world can yeah. wait. And FW. There's so many things that like resonate woody. with me, whether it be quotes or poetry or like prose and things like that. And I saw this. It says, be enough for yourself first. The rest of the world can wait. And that just like really resonated with That's me. One and way I feel of like it's that. kind of the theme of my channel right now. Where it's like, I need to be a snake oil sales good department. for me. So I need to... Got a new non-work-from-home jobs. I'll be busy. Oh, my God. Focus on myself cool, cool. and not other people. What they say, think. I need to figure it out for myself and be enough for me before I can even do it for y'all. All right, you guys. Well, I cooked some turkey kielbasa with some onion. I have some raw broccoli, Very which colorful. I love. Some mustard, cottage cheese, and green olives with the We're good old the garlic in the middle, which cottage is cottage cheese mustard the <laughs> plastic fork. The plastic fork. Oh, I didn't realize you were at a fucking barbecue. My fave. So I haven't had this in a hot minute. Didn't realize Do you were I at even, the family uh, fucking like barbecue. So who's ready for a cottage cheese mm, with a turkey kielbasa? <laughs> Girl. Oh. Mm, cottage cheese on a broccoli. So I've had another day mm. where I've been so distracted. <laughs> Distractions right now. So good. Are a good thing. My hair is looking crazy. The reason why I chose to do these 50 days of uploading is because I wanted something to do. 50 days of uploading? I wanted oh, wow. I didn't realize it was all long Some thing. sort of structure. And... Gotta admit... Just the last begging few days, for structure in our life. Well, a couple of days. Last couple of days, I've lost that structure because I've been so distracted and my attention has been on other things. Here we have my olive. Mm. All of these nuts. And you I don't know why, but I feel like broccoli is the best with the shit. Granolas. So good. That was so good. Not me on my stove eating more. Stuff so enough with the what fucking not Nina me. Great 2020 just subscribed. Hey Nina. Happy birthday, King. Thank you so much for the 10 months subscribed. Appreciate it. Front teeth only chomping. The the chompers. Uh. Not me. <laughs> not me. We gotta. Is Pam and Nakin just subscribed? Garden Gaming gifted a tier one sub. Garden to Gaming gifted a sub. Did spam it again. Thank you so <laughs> much. Let me see gift sandwiches in the chat. Actually, not She's me, to me eating out of the pan. Pepsi. I fucking do that every day. I eat out of the hot pan. Got Pepsi caffeine free. <laughs> Usually, a cool little this bit. This is where but it's the pan's Okay, guys, let's do some questions. I fried, made some rice in the in the rice cooker. Then I threw it in a pan with butter. Threw a bunch of leftover Moe's salsa in there. And then I ate it with some leftover Moe's chips. And I want to start right choosing other questions that aren't just weight loss related, but most of these. Do you want to hear your thoughts on the Lizzo situation? I'm not will be. aware so of the Lizzo 41, situation. So number 41, does lipedema hurt or feel uncomfortable? So lipedema no, feels good. Edema, without a doubt feels uncomfortable. It feels the Try most uncomfortable it. when I've been walking a lot, standing a lot, sitting in a car for a while, or I've had like a massive amount of sodium. It doesn't hurt that- My throbbing lipedema from my sodium? That much. Um, my lymphedema slash lipedema, I think, has maybe hurt like a handful of times. And it's only ever if I like was like to the max swollen, which like I said, it ha it hasn't happened that often. Okay. I'm swollen 99% exactly, exactly. of the time, but that's just like my normal swollen. But there's like uh, yes. a level where it's like, okay. Advanced kind of swollen. Okay, so let's do the next question here. We have number 47. How much did you weigh when you were born? So I actually weighed six pounds, six ounces. So Where, I was what pretty were they small, cooking with uh, this one? As a baby, but then like literally. Actually, a hundred pounds? Like, what like, did you want her to say? Just a chunkster. But as years went on, that <laughs> chunkster became morbidly obese. And I've been morbidly obese my whole life. Alrighty, the third question for today is number 36. What's the biggest reason you aren't getting oh, weight loss surgery? Interesting. Lack of stability. When you get weight loss surgery, they said you're, you're going to need someone. You're going to need that one person like to really, really support you. And right uh, now yes. with this breakup, I don't want to put Feline in that position at all. And before anyone gets this answer twisted, no, I did not know that Fucking and I were Becky. Not to get Fucking Becky couldn't just stay with together me. Together when I made the choice not to get weight loss surgery because at the time it was because I knew I wasn't ready. I have horrible relationship with food, and I knew that I wasn't horrible. changed. 12 therapy sessions did not Haunted change 31 hospital? years of me turning to food during the hardest times of my life. So instead right. of the professionals telling me, mm, you're not ready, I just knew 
I knew I was oh, ready. So why oh, go- oh, 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 fuck the professional opinions. I know in my heart I'm not ready. Okay. When I already okay. knew that I wasn't ready. Like, it's like common sense. A lot of you I, were talking- I bet if you ran this by the professionals, they would have been like, actually, that's... Let me that's that you're the right. mental you're illness right. so talking. Now that you're right. Like, this is exactly what you do behind every us. time. Maybe we'll revisit in the future. Who knows? Alrighty. Let's Shrek door, door dress. What? We have number 55. Tell me if you guys know that song. Do you feel a lot of pressure what? to what lose a, weight? That's miss? such a good question. What did I miss? Yes, I feel a lot of pressure from the community and from myself. Oh my god, I got I, I, I don't. I don't have time to go get it right now. But another shirt Jamie got me for my birthday. She, I don't think she found. She found it at Target. It's this black t-shirt, and it has a picture of Shrek and Donkey on it, but it's literally just, like, a single frame from the movie, and it doesn't say anything. It's just fucking Shrek and Donkey standing there in a fucking rectangle on the shirt, and I love it so much. So I'm not really sure how to like answer this question. I don't really know how it was meant to be asked. But if I'm talking about like, do I have pressure to lose weight from like online people? Yeah, I I feel that wholeheartedly. And I feel like I'm not going to get the same opportunities as her dress is the outhouse from Shrek. Um, anyone else online based on my size. And it's like I'm living that experience. So please do not gaslight me. And it's like I feel like if I don't lose weight, then that's how people like value me as a person. You're not wearing that to birthday dinner. Someone who doesn't lose weight. Someone who feels like her weight loss. The beast. It's not fair. It's not right because there's so much more to me and i'm just now learning to like love myself and to there's find the good qualities of myself but it's hard as a 500 pound person online all right next question is number eight do you think people Let's can lose weight eating fast food yes because eight. losing weight is ultimately if you are in a calorie deficiency so i'm not going to be dr lynn weight watchers or go for know it all lynn but that's like for the normal person but obviously if you are suffering She's with PCOS, the word normal edema um hormonal issues or any other like issue, like with your thyroid, any illness or disease, whatever, that like makes it to where losing weight is a lot harder than obviously that plays how, big- how dare she bring up the thyroid knowing that Becky posted a thing saying Roll that her it. thyroid But if we're talking about just like a regular good. Joe Schmo trying to lose Fucking weight, you can't without a doubt eat fast food and still lose weight if you are counting your calories, eating below Me? the amount that you need Me? to maintain your body weight. I mean, that's what obvious. What's throwing that on, any around you for? dietitian will tell you that. And I wish I remember the name of this TikToker. She has lost like almost 200 pounds eating anything and everything she wants, just like in a calorie deficiency. And she makes TikTok oh, wow. showing Let's what she eats at like that. McDonald's or Taco Let's Bell or Chick-fil-A or whatever it may be, like what she eats now versus like what she used to eat then. Like true real Clearly weight loss that's you're not the trying secret. to be like super heart healthy or just like super healthy. Like you can lose weight eating anything. Hello. I'm currently in Who bed. Who throwing you and around for? ceiling light is still not working. Me? So I, I use this little lamp on my nightstand. But um, okay. yeah, uploading 15 days in a row can be uh, difficult when it's hard to even just get out of bed sometimes. But Oh my god, poor thing. <laughs> no one has it harder than fucking Amberlynn. That's why I wanted to do this, you know, to no make it to where it like, I had to get out of bed and had to get up and do something. Some sort of like routine, if you will. I talked about this already in this video. What am I doing? So usually my nighttime routine is I will take my melatonin and then I'll go take like a really warm handful of delta eight shower i'm a nighttime shower girly sometimes i'll oh uh, yes the nightly routine of showering do in the morning sometimes uh, yes. both, but either way like nine times out of ten i'm gonna take a shower before i actually go to bed something about like oh, sitting okay. in bed, nine times out of ten letting the melatonin kick in going to take my little shower then coming back to bed and scrolling through TikTok. have you tried a nice cpap machine instead of melatonin that is like my routine every it's single night probably... i know people have asked me before like do like some like morning routine or like nighttime routine and i promise you it's nothing spectacular it's probably the same routine as everyone else in the world maybe not who knows but like literally it took me two seconds to tell you what my routine is so i've already done <laughs> melatonin the first step. hits sitting in bed took my melatonin which i only have a couple left as you can see there but that's okay that, I that's, got that feels like a cope i look Alocasia? Other pack, so we're good. What, how like, do I, I say that? Thanks for following. I think corn. tonight I'm actually switching up my routine just a smidge a little bit, and I'm actually gonna journal in bed, which I don't normally journal in bed, but I think I'm gonna sit in here and like Intravenous put on some melatonin. calming noises. Sometimes I'll listen to ASMR, um, or sometimes I'll like listen to like thunderstorms. I love that; it's the best. <clears throat> like on Spotify, it's so good. Well, they have like an eight-hour podcasts. one, you so if you it, like to listen to that while you're sleeping, that's like perfect it's like chef's kiss so sometimes like i'll listen to that as chef's well so i do listen to my vlog i'm sorry that it wasn't like eventful or whatever but i mean sometimes i prefer a wordy vlog versus like a dewy vlog 
What? Like my favorite type of vlogs to watch. <laughs> oh, there's what? nothing better than a Dewey vlog. Let me tell you that. That's for fucking sure. Nothing beats a Dewey where vlog. Where my favorite YouTubers just stay at home and they just talk and talk and talk and talk. Those are my fave. Anyways, I'm gonna go though. I hope that you guys okay. did enjoy this guys, vlog. Guys, we got two more. Oh, we got two more. Can we do it before I have to go out to a birthday dinner? Full day of eating at Disneyland at 400 pounds, and I haven't brushed my hair in two weeks. Okay. Hello, hello. So. Okay, the enhanced premium. Let's get that playback speed. Okay. Hello, hello. So <clears throat> I woke up a little bit ago. So I talked about my last vlog, like my nighttime routine. So my when I wake up routine, first thing I do is go to the bathroom. Then I take Twinkie out on just like a little stroll. Oh, for then those I that don't in. know, Dewey. I take a quick shower. Was, my shower is uh, like our, in our the last morning, I feel like cat. a little bit quicker than the ones at night. And it's summertime Before and it's hot. We got the and bozos. I don't like that. So I feel like I shower more like in the summer. But then after all that, after okay. Twinkie taken out, shower so more in the summer. Sure, sure, of bed, course. Naturally. I'm showered. I then come in here and I'll you do my makeup. fucking what? Twinkie's taken out, fed, I'm showered. I then come in here and I'll do my makeup <laughs> while editing. Like, I'll edit a little bit, then do a little bit of makeup. Edit a little on bit. On fucking Feline's bed? Come on. Yes, Dewey was in a lot of vlogs. If you go back, like, especially, like, the when the random vlogmases I did. Then do a little bit of makeup. And while I can't I watch them anymore, but it's very part, nice. I'm on YouTube. And right now I'm listening to Foodie Beauty. Yes, I still oh, yes. watch her videos. The Foodie Beauty is, podcast. You know? Like, I'm a viewer. And right now they're talking about like the whole Disneyland thing. A lot of people are saying like how she won't be able to fit on rides, yada, yada, yada. So Who I'm going to make it very cares? well known. The reason why I'm talking about this is because Worry like, about based yourselves. on experience. And also I don't want bigger people Please to be like watching Foodie Beauty and hearing, hearing all the haters say like, oh my God, you can't fit on the rides. Like, and then them never going because. Going to, di going to Disneyland with Foodie Beauty. She can fit on the rides. I actually have been to Disneyland three times and it was all while i was over 400 pounds yes Take over that, 400 haters. pounds and Fuck every you, ride haters. on disneyland that i went on i was able to fit on and am i hearing some thunder i also went to california adventures which is right across california. from disneyland and i also yep. <clears throat> where the hell's the sound Sun may rise in the east and it's the abadee and abadoo vacation. You give it away and then you under the bridge and then it's abadabadoo California. <clears throat> Fit on every single ride on that one as well. That's from that I a, that's from a, I am talking. A, uh, a, a Instagram reel Chris sent me. From Clown Vis. Pirates of the Car like I'm just gonna name a bunch of random ones. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the um is it like Hotel of Terror or something like that? Like it's a small world, like the Winnie the Pooh moment. Um what, I'm hearing thumping. Very low thumping. Of the roller coasters, like the first roller coaster I've ever been on was California uh, California Screaming. And I was over 40 miles. Fornication. So I was a big body. Yeah, and do, 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 I fit on every single one. There's obviously a tons more rides that I went on, but I can't really like think of them at the moment. But yeah, I just don't want people to like be watching that and like listen Who's to the haters and like clapping cheeks oh, God, in their Disneyland. room with us. Trust Disneyland like doesn't discriminate <laughs> like at all. Their all rides are made for all no, it's, it's different in her types thing. of people, it's in her including thing. bigger I think bodies. she's like smacking her table or something. I just want to say here for the experience. Oh, uh, shipping in the background. My meals, my meals are bad. Happy, happy birthday from the Chili's crew. <laughs> we wish it was our birthday so we could party too, eh? <laughs> Chili's, the Chili's birthday. <laughs> so thanks so much. Alakase, you really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what I've been told. Someone here is getting old. <laughs> Scream is to go to Disneyland, let her do it. She is going to fit on the rides. If I was able to, she's going to be able to. I just feel like there needs to be a voice of reason. And since, you know, been there, done that, I just felt like I needed to share my story that I had a lot of fun at Disneyland. So, so Shadow, the Hed too. Shadow the Hedgehog reads out the tips. I'm having everybody. a hard time today. Adulting, if you will. Is that what you right now, a I restaurant gig? No, we just sang happy birthday. And I, I, everyone dragged me over because they're like, come on, Mr. Singer. And I'm like, no, that doesn't apply to the fucking birthday song. When I don't know the fucking person's name. I'll give a starting pitch, sure. I'm doing some dishes and I just feel 
sad. Nothing worse than whoever starts the birthday song just giving the most random fucking pitch. <laughs> uh, last night, Felina and I had like... It was kind of like, I want to say it was a serious conversation. I mean, some serious topics were definitely brought up. Like about when we're moving and stuff like that. Um, but it was like a short conversation. What is all so over her like fucking shirt? No hardcore depth to it. So that's definitely something that's been weighing on my mind. What is going out, on like, with today? To the extreme. Because I just don't feel like I'm healing from this the right way. I don't know. I just... No other heartbreak has ever felt like this. It's just... Something just doesn't, know, it just doesn't feel good, times. it doesn't feel right. Oh, and people were asking about um, why do I dry my dishes in the dishwasher? It seems like that takes up more time. Flames I don't know how cool. it would because literally like in the same way people wash their dishes and then set it on like a dish rack. It's yeah. just, a, it's taking place of a dish rack because I didn't want my island to like. Yeah, but think about how much more efficient the dish rack is than the, than using the drying function of the dishwasher be filled with clean dishes on a dish rack that ain't cute that's not aesthetic so <laughs> i mainly do it just for the reason of, like, i don't want a disgusting dish rack allowing my dishes to dry when i could just have a heated function doing it hi thank you is it all right uh if i call you back in a little bit okay thank you bye my mom, my mom called, but we gotta get through this. Like, I don't want clutter. <laughs> my mom was telling me. I think today is no makeup type deal. <laughs> no makeup type of deal. I'm having some leftovers. Oh, yeah, mildewy in there? From last night. The dry, though, does she not, is there like not like a drying function for her, the dishwasher? I mean, I don't think mine has like a just dry option, but. My kill box. Does she, just, does she just let it sit in the dishwasher and hope it dries out? Asa? I might also have some cottage cheese, mustard. I love a raw broccoli with it, so I'm probably gonna do that. Okay, so I already warmed. Okay, great, great, great. My kielbasa, here are my, feels weird, but. What is this fucking, the raw diet fucking dog food? Because every- Look at her. Millie underscore hey, just Millie. subscribed. Happy birthday. I had to watch an ad about a woman shaving before I could resp- like, was it for, like, women shaving products, or was the ad space just taken up by someone shaving? Thanks so much, Millie, with the Prime Sub. In 18 months, that's your second Will Donation Baby. Congratulations. Boring. Every time I look in the viewfinder, it literally just reminds me, girl, brush your hair. <laughs> like, I haven't brushed my hair in probably, like, two weeks. Okay. You know, I shower every day, but then I probably wash my hair, like, every okay. three days. Okay, in case anyone forgot, she showers every day. Every single day she showers, then, okay? Even don't while forget, it's wet. Don't forget. I'll just put it back up into this. And see, that's how. No, see, that's going to get some mildew. For me, like, that's how I wet know. Wet hair I'm, like, tied up like sad. that. Because brushing my hair always goes first. Always. I'm finally using um the little lip balm things that I got from the Dollar Tree. And there were some people who were, like, speaking about how, like, how I got really what, cheap not the Timu makeup ones, off though? of Timu. But then, like, why did I get cheap oh, makeup off go. of... Or from and I can tell you, I get a I get a bunch of emails from Timu saying like, "Hey, we're ready to sponsor, three hundred dollars of free products or whatever." Like, can't can't do it. Dollar Tree can't do it. It's very enticing. LA Colors but... is an actual <laughs> brand, just like Wet and Wild, which is also get fucking, at like five below. The Dollar like, Tree oh, and stuff yeah, get, like that. Like those are actual brands of the that kingdom for like, twenty seven dollars. And they were made for people who like don't have a lot of money but still want to like Fall wear off the makeup back and of stuff. A fucking but this truck. is the shimmering loose eyeshadow LA color that I got from there. And I still haven't used it, so I might actually use that tomorrow because, like I said, I wanted a free, clean, bare face today. But I will say, this feels really good. I'm not going to lie. Clean, it's weird, though, because there's like really face? an extent to it. So August 1st is coming up, and that's... <laughs> is it? Is it now? It's actually when this planner starts. Um, I got this planner from, was it Marshall? It I says think, 2024. So. Um, and this is when it starts. It starts on the good old August. So I'm super excited. Um, I love jotting down notes, lists, goals. It's just what oh, I do. I'm just very oh, much a pen to paper type of girly. So that's why when people are like, oh my God, you're already journaling like on your notes. Why are you also doing it like in a notebook? Well, it's right, because I want right. that physical like pen to paper journal like feel to it. Listen, like, I don't, I'll, we're not here to fetish shame, whatever gets like, you I love going. It. If I had to choose between only journaling 
um, electronically or like with an actual just notebook, I would choose this. This is what okay. I would choose. All right. Same when it goes to like writing down all of your fucking smut. Books, a lot of people are like, why don't you just read on the Kindle or whatever? And it's like, I got the Kindle and I was thinking about it. <clears> but <throat> as I use the Kindle, it's like, yeah, it's cool and all, but I prefer just like physical. How about Diana? Well, come on. I don't know. I'm not a boomer. I promise. I am a millennial. But it's like technology oh, okay. is taking right. over Sorry. everywhere. So it's like, I still like to keep certain Her things HVAC from notes. the past, like physical pens, physical paper, physical uh, books. So I don't know. Not me over here making turkey. No, for, no more fucking not me. This is the third fucking day in a row with the fucking wieners and, and onions. All right. Kielbasa with. Not me eating the same hot dogs every day. Garlic and row. onion for the second night in a row. Oh my not God, this me. is so good. Not me eating hot dogs. I'm currently again. cooking while having one of these. Nope. I'm also listening to Trisha Paytas's uh, new podcast. Just oh my god, please fucking get a life. Please learn to weld. You're not listening to fucking Trisha Paytas's podcast while you chew on an ice pop while you cook your dinner. Trish, so I have it paused right now though. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I like it so far. Holy But fuck. how many podcasts has she had now? Oh my god. A lot. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. Just don't give up. Just keep on trying, no matter how many Please get forklift certified. You go on. I'm blurry. Okay, so my food is done. I wish, like, I... Whose fucking cup is this? I had rice or something, but I really am trying not to have, like, pasta and rice. You know? POV, you're at the gruel station in the dungeon. It's one step at a time. <laughs> I love making this because I have leftovers for the next day. <laughs> I do guys all. I ate my leftovers from last night. Earlier. So, so far, I've shown you guys everything uh. that I've today so far. Hello, hello. Okay, I haven't vlogged for... Please, Evelyn, I think it's been like three hours at this point. And I want to say about an hour ago, I was just like having a meltdown. Classic, all right. So what else is in my new? DMs. Like so many people reach I can't with the fucking cum stains you know, all over his shirt. Saying, like, what is going on? Oh, with I just seem so relatable. That's not like if you like bleach your shirt, that's not even how it comes because out. Because these are like feelings that people usually don't voice out loud and like people just saying thank you for your vulnerability and stuff, and it just makes me want to like what is that, a fungus growing on it? I don't know, cry. Like I wish I could hug every single one of you because so many of you are also opening up to me and it's just like fucking. wow. So I also want to say um that the person who sent me this book, because this was from one of my PO boxes recently, said that on the inside do. there was a letter and that the person the who <laughs> yeah. wrote this book actually wrote inside of it and signed it. And I hadn't actually Best Best use of advertising money. Send your product to Amber Lynn. She will give you open the book the yet. most so when she exposure me, i was like oh my god for the money. thank you for letting me know so i just want to say tracy thank you so much i appreciate you flower petals? i appreciate all of you and you guys have just been so Come kind on. i have definitely needed it because going through a lot there's a lot of things i'm vocalizing and a lot of things i'm not ready to vocalize but we will get there so like the red dot sight on her so neck i was in my pantry camera. and i saw that i had like I don't know, I'd say maybe 40% of this left. Oh, hot dog, let's fucking go! So I just ate them, right after saying I'm trying to watch my carbs. Woo! <laughs> they were just staring at me let's in the face. Let's fucking go! They were really tasty, but no more buying these, because this is like, honestly... Get this out of my fucking face! Probably one of my favorite snacks in the world. Not good for you. So, so far, these are the things that I'm giving to Goodwill. We have dishes and cups and purses and notebooks and books and wannabe Legos and just some, oh like, miscellaneous God. stuff. So, we're definitely getting that Please going. Please learn to forklift. Right. So, the next thing I plan on having is some buffalo wings. These are the Morningstar. Uh, yes, getting those veggies veggie in. Veggie buffalo wings, and they're so good. And I'm going to have they them are with ranch. I fucking love Morningstar nuggets. So, my veggie nuggets are in the microwave. Now, I'm just going to get a little dipper bowl here. A nice little Isn't ramekin. Isn't it so cute and small? A little, little so I'm gonna soy have some sauce ranch. guy. My That's what's up, My tubes. Is staying Maple frizzy, bacon I ranch. swear to you. It's probably because I'm not brushing it, which... What's this I for? The Reese's pretzels? Oh, the, mm. the, the nuggets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> when I like something, you know it, because I'm like, so good. Mm -hmm. Literally not descriptive at all in any sort of way. Just taste like So I know like it feels like I was is. showing you guys like wannabe Legos and Legos that I was completing almost every single day. Legos, yes, 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 go on, go I on. I want to show you guys every completed one that I do because I just love it so much and I know a lot of you do too. But this one took me forever. Nice little uh, 
chin dab like old times there? <laughs> I'm about to show you. I'm trying to grab it, but it's like weeble wobble. Oh my God. Don't With her fall, little please. claw, her little claw. I mean, it's hooked on the little stand, but it's still like weeble wobbles. It is this, what is this? The fucking Ludens from Kojima Productions? It's an astronaut. And when I tell you, like, look how many pieces. Death Stranding? How detailed. Like, insane. Nice, I love Among Us. Like, isn't that crazy? Why is it half a fucking robot? I have to pee, I'm sorry. Hold on. Be right back. Okay, turned it up a little bit, everybody. Sorry, sorry. It's because some of them are so loud. And everyone's like, whoa, that clip is way too loud. Whoa. I'm like so proud of that one, but it does like wiggle and stuff. So I'm gonna set it down. I thoroughly wiggle, enjoyed that wiggle, one. Wiggle. It was super fun, hard, detailed, which is my favorite. This one I like recommend wholeheartedly. It's JM Bricklayer is the brand. And this is the <laughs> mechanical <laughs> space man. Bricklayer. 900 pieces. So yeah, this is the end of my video, but this How was definitely not like a way today video because I showed you every single thing that I put in my mouth besides oh. the liquids I had. And the only thing I've had today was a few of these diet Pepsis. Oh, I'm probably gonna okay. have one more. I usually have one more. Like while I'm just chilling in bed. So, so that is the end of this vlog. Okay, all right, one, one more, right? Am I looking for a girlfriend? If I lose weight, no one will watch me anymore. All right, with that fucking attitude. Last oh, one, video. Last one. I am about to do my makeup, so don't worry. I'm probably just gonna do something like. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. I am about to do my makeup, so don't worry. I'm probably just gonna do something like low key today. Right now, I'm watching the really good podcast with Bobby. I think I'm obsessed with like her demeanor and Who the fuck is this? I have watched like every her single demeanor? one that she's done, which is only like five. I don't want to pause anymore. And this is the this last is one I haven't good. seen. I am going to subscribe. I'm going to have to fucking hit the pause now, button now. Yes, I am. What I do. Because just the way that she acts is so Ever funny to me. Ancient I lately? was literally just in the middle. It's got to do with harsh, harsh angle lighting. My eyebrows harsh angle with lighting. a massive bug just flew into the window and died okay. from the outside obviously they thought they could fly in here and it just went Dum! that's the noise it made literally Dum! well did you help oh, that them? was hard to see that was sad okay so You're i'm about to with my makeup i'm still mid makeup but i have had so many dms on instagram of people asking about them? the glitter that i'm wearing well i'm not uh, currently are you sure the it. dms don't say what the know. fuck is going on with that glitter <laughs> No, just kidding. I don't care. It is NYX Professional Makeup Glitter Who the fuck Brilliance. Is Nick? It's for your face, body, whatever you want it to be. And this one is in the color 07 Glee. G L I. So it's this cute little guy. I think that probably, here. Means, that probably stands for glitter. So, glee? I finished <laughs> my makeup. Fucking Glee. Um, I went outside for a walk, saw some people, <laughs> waved at some people, glitter. smiled at some people, made small talk with some people. Oh, you and went out nice. and talked to people? And Twinkie got pet on by some strangers. Sometimes I'm weird about that. I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, then say inside. don't pet like, I was in a good mood. I came back inside. I was okay. But then, like, I don't know. I just started writing poetry. And I have not written poetry in a really long time. Like, writing used to be, like, really special to me. Like, What happened? What happened? Poetry is one of my favorite is forms of Is it possible art, your so interests have stuff. changed? I create that. But I used to create a lot of poems, and that was my form of art. And I eventually, like, realized I wasn't passionate about it anymore because okay. a lot of, like, outside influence. And so All I stopped right. writing for years. I okay. Did. No and one made you? And journal, like, there are moments where, like, I'll maybe write a poem that's, like, a couple sentences. But nothing like how I used to write. I will say, like, how I used to write, like, a decade ago no definitely not the way i write now like, like i've changed pigeon? my writing style for sure but like i just subconsciously feel Holly, like my writing is Holly. never good enough and whatever it may be please we gotta get through this ow ow it was never about that it was never about like oh my god what a great poem it was more so about the way it made me feel and i stopped feeling that way because of like outside things but i just wrote a poem and it just like really hurt it did. I guess it needs to happen though, like, because I remember yesterday, I kept holding back tears all day long. Like, literally all day long. And normally I just let myself cry. But all day yesterday, I had this lump in my throat. And I just wanted to cry so bad. And I wouldn't let myself. And then it was finally nighttime. 
I'd say after like 10 hours of just like holding on strong. Is this about... I finally just let myself do it. I just started bawling my eyes out. Is this about... And I felt so much better after Poetry? And it made me realize that crying is actually helping me. And I know that sounds crazy. Because I cry on, Naturally, on here all the time. Yeah. People talk shit about it, but I don't care. Like, it's helping me to, like... Very common thing just, like, to do. Just, like, get out something. No shit. So as I was writing this poem, I'm just, like, crying. And it was just, like, a whole therapeutic experience, to be honest. Holly. It really was. Holly. And I know... Hey, buddy. Nasty dog, come here. Come here, nasty dog. I was just going after Jamie. Yeah, come in here. You want the camera? Yeah. Something landed on your head. Turn around. I don't see anything. You're just itching to make sure? Yeah. I felt something land right on my head. Okay. Take me out. Okay. I don't see anything. No spotted lantern flies, no. Hi, puppy dog. Go see mama. Alright, I got, uh... Like, there's gonna be like ten minutes left of this or something to knock it out, okay? No, it's not gonna be half an hour. Hey, attack rack! Yes, it's my birthday. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Alright, let's knock this out. Shoot, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. She's crying because she... Decided it's a good thing to do to mourn a breakup and she's been writing poetry, right? Thank you, Attack Rack. <laughs> Take it easy, Millie. Thanks for hanging. All right, so that's where we're at with this. I'm just trying to... Well, after this wave of sadness and these wave of tears and emotions, once okay. it goes away, I'll be okay again. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of time and then I'm going to start filming I don't, again. I don't, I'm like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to like be like any like like rude here. I'm trying to understand. so where where did the poetry fit into I just this? Want to let you guys know is that what brought it about? Currently, because I guess I'm just I like, guess, I'm trying to be <laughs> trying to understand here. Really emotional <laughs> lately. Really emotional. I'm okay. going through something, but you can't talk about it. That is obviously oh. clearly <laughs> affecting me, and not everyone is affected by the same things. Hey, important man, thank but you. But this is uh, affecting me in a way that I'm... I'm certainly not affected by the breakup, you're right. really was not expecting, so... Breakups are really hard, and depending on certain circumstances, it could be harder for others, or freeing for others, or some people are so happy right. after a breakup, some people are fucking devastated, and that's just where I'm at right now, and... Didn't it's we gonna go be through like this, like, two weeks ago? <laughs> it's gonna be like that for a little bit. And this is, I mean, like, I can't, again, like, it's, I'm, it's, it sucks she's feeling this way. This has been the longest breakup pity party I've ever seen. What's going on? A good couple of weeks here. I've been getting so many messages on Instagram that have just been amazing, and I thank you guys so much. But there was one that was just like, I appreciate you being so vulnerable and relatable. And the fact that you were doing this in front of a large audience just goes to show how so strong, strong you are. So strong, so like, strong. Truly meant the world to me to read those words. God, I can't believe I just did my makeup. And now my makeup's all messed up. Oh, only me, you know? Never did. I just no, feel like well, I need to let myself exhausting. feel. Oh, yeah, whatever you want to because do. Because by not allowing myself to feel, I'm not going to heal. So true. So true. Yes. And as someone who is daily vlogging for 15 days, you guys are going to see that process happen. Oh, okay. And I just need you got anything else going on that we could watch for the 50 days, though? Shit with me, please. Oh, slender. I think. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on. How you doing? How do I say that? Because I can't. Talks in such general statements to justify her reactions. Dustin's knocking my tripod around. Justify her reactions as if we don't know how people express control. emotions. <laughs> All right. How I feel currently. That's but I'm trying my hardest to control like my actions around it. I'm trying really hard. So. But yeah, oh just God, patience, what a nice please. cat. A nice Anyways, birthday cat. I am going to journal just a little bit more. Will it be a montage on the last and then video? Get out of this of this, oh my god, you remember when she did it that? It will go away. It comes in waves. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay. Alright, so I'm about to have- <laughs> What is this fucking day four of the of the wieners again? Some raw broccoli. <laughs> the cottage cheese and mustard. Okay, this is an all-time high for the mustard quantity, though. Come on. It's more mustard every day. <laughs> What's going on with that? Fresh cheese, mustard, some leftover onions, and turkey kielbasa. Jackie, this is my Jackie. first meal of the day, and I prefer having this as my first meal Just, because it's so freaking the good. The percentage of mustard is steadily increasing. 
So NPC meal, yeah, the Sims when the Sims. I don't know why this is a hot topic, but I showed you guys me just taking a filtered selfie on my Snapchat, okay. which this is something I do every day, and I've done for years. I only communicate with my personal. <laughs> she's, just trying, she's just filling the void <laughs> with mustard instead of healing. In real life, friends or family or whatever it may be on Snapchat, and we're always sending photos back and forth or whatever it is. And now people like have a conspiracy that I'm looking for a girlfriend because I showed you a filtered photo. They're stretching. I, I mean, you, she turns signal and she starts hopping on Snapchat. I think, I think that's a pretty obvious move. Has gone way too far, folks. I promise you. I'm literally just. I think this. everyone knows what happens when you break up with someone and you just end up on Snapchat. One of my Snapchat. really good friends. Okay. Y'all, I don't know what is happening, but my mood is so much better right now. Like. I just changed the litter box. I have a little laundry started, like cleaning a little That's bit, packing a little bit. <laughs> and I just feel so much better. I told you, it's like that crying session that needs to happen every single day. Right. And I'm fine with that for now. Everyone else is Since we're in my good old room. Except for Y'all, there's so many things that I have to like go through and look by at toxic and, like, masculinity. Be sad about getting rid of, but knowing I don't need it or it has memories that I don't want, you know. Um, and it's like, I have to sit here and decide like, do I want this big guy right here? Who's like this that? guy is pretty good, guy? pretty decent, super expensive. Who's this guy? But there's guy? one down here that is super like floppy and annoying. So I'm over here trying to decide what to do. Good I am well. getting rid of these mirrors, good by the well. way. I used to have three of them because I was gonna do this whole moment. They're so dusty right now, but I just like don't care. But I used to have three. I got rid of one. Now I still um, have two. I have good this well. guy and then the other one's right there. Good so well. I will be getting rid of these uh, for yes. sure. For when you need a second opinion from a mirror i'm trying to think of like what <laughs> okay. furniture i plan on keeping i have a huge chair in my living room that i'm probably gonna get rid of which is kind of crazy i don't know goodwill it's just like memories are held on to certain things like i'm trying really hard to separate myself from blankets <laughs> that's a whole other topic but there's gonna be a lot of blankets that i'm getting rid of because you're blanky I have memories and stuff because i have this weird like attachment with blankets literally been, any like, stains on them that bring back memories this since i was like two years old so don't ask, don't come for me. I'm a weird girly, I'm quirky. So the topic of blankets right now is a hard one. I know, I, I hope someone out there understands. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't know. We'll get there when we get there, I guess. Sorry, you guys hear my dryer in the yeah, back. Yeah, sure so there's a nice four-year-old that can that relate cutie. to you. cutie. Look how sweet, Twinkie Star. Twinkie Star, absolutely. Because we just took a walk, I'm out myself. When so the Delta 8 bit. hits. Okay, you guys, I really wanna try some of these loaded cauliflower bites, okay. bacon and cheddar. I just figured this was Throw a better in the air fryer that you probably didn't clean after the fucking pork chops. Alternative to me ordering fast food, which is what I really want to do right now. So I'm choosing to do this instead. Like when I want to eat takeout, it's what? hard for whoa, me not whoa, to whoa. have takeout. Like, what is going on? <laughs> it's very, very hard. So I'm pretty sure I could just put these in the air fryer. Like it says to use the oven. Well, I want you to think it is very, very hard not to. Imagine not um, having money. That would be crazy. In a toaster oven not recommended. Imagine if you didn't have money. I don't know. I'm pretty sure an air fryer is fine. So I'm just gonna... No, 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 Maya. This is a vegetable. It was it was cheesy cauliflower bites. Make she all of them, She said meat and veggies. But one is like flat. I'll show you guys what they look like. I don't know. I hope this is good. I'm just feeling really, really hungry. And this is when the takeout cravings come. Okay. okay. So this is what they look like. Right on top of the... this guy in. The pork chop stains power air fry okay. i guess i'll just have it on for 20 minutes i'll check it here and there okay okay sure. hi Whatever. it has been eight minutes and i did some research if something says oven you can use an air fryer and that air fryer is actually give out more power so i was like Holy oh okay cool. fuck. i learned something all right so it's been eight minutes i just wanted to check on it give out I more did. power the air fryer gives out more power Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. You use a meat thermometer for like I, everything. So, yeah, this still needs more time. You know your 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 uh, your your range there. Your oven stovetop range has its own <laughs> circuit and everything. It just starts again when you close it. It's pretty great. But Hi, okay. We're back. So it's been the, like five more minutes. The strength of this air fryer is Alex, unmatched. You guys know the reaction channel. And I'm just listening to him right now, and he literally just said that if I lose weight. Who's the reaction channel? I, we're back. So it's been like five more minutes. I catch myself watching Alex. You guys know the reaction channel. And I'm just Alex, the reaction channel. Okay. Right now, and he literally just said 
that if I lose weight and become like a success story that no one's gonna watch me anymore. Pretty much just said that. So it's just like these reaction channels. The trucking guy? You ain't, you ain't adding up. Like, do you actually care about me? Who said that? Who said um, that? Fuck them. They can go to hell. And do you want to see me get- Who said that? Who said that dumb, stupid shit? Better, or are you really just like loving the demise? Loving Who's the, the wreck, Nick so with? You can just like keep making that money. Like, it's just not enough. And that's just like hard <laughs> because the more train wreck I am, the more views I get. I was getting my lowest views when I was on really, really good track. When I first got with Feline, it was during that era. I was like losing weight, I was eating super healthy, and I was getting the lowest of views. And now that I'm like not that's doing that. That's because the content was shit. The content was shit. It was you opening up fucking torrid halls and shit you bought from Amazon over and over. I don't know. See, it's things like that. When people say things like that, it's just like, it, it mentally messes with me. Hardcore. Knowing that I could lose my job if I become healthy oh and successful. Oh my lost. Like that's god, fucking, no one has it harder than Amber Like, don't say things like that, please. Okay, now that I'm done expressing my feelings, where some people would call it a rant, you can call it what you want, but I'm just expressing myself. So these are definitely done. So let me get a plate and then we can plate some. Try them. Got a plate. No, I hope I no, do, do, I, do I choose between my health or my career? So this, I still use this to the person who sent me it. In my P.O. box, the cat spatula. She is still used. That looks easy to clean. Yes, she is. So Such I think a I'm going to have a couple. Let's do three. Sorry. <laughs> this is what it looks like, by the way. I'm gonna let Feline have some. I'm sure she doesn't like it. She doesn't exist. There is no Feline. Who is that? Who is that? Your fucking imaginary friend sitting at the island? Three. Okay, so I want to try these with and without ranch. So obviously we're gonna try them without ranch first. Is she the like setting like, the dinner table for two? You know, like that weird smell that like broccoli has and like Brussels sprouts, asparagus, like kind of like that, like that healthy smell. You guys know what I'm talking Cauliflower about. Cauliflower smell. Oh God, it's hot. I'll mm. wait for it to cool. Wait, these are so good. Is this what the inside looks like? Looks like shit. Wow. That's actually really good without ranch, but I'm a ranch girl. But anyway. I'm just gonna try a little tiny. <laughs> dallop. Just a little dallop. A nice right. dallop? A dallop mm. of it? See, that is so good. And these are cauliflower instead of like potato. I think I prefer it without the ranch. Well, I don't understand. What, what is, why is this, the cauliflower supposed to be better? What's wrong with the potato? So she doesn't choke on it? And then I'm also going to have... Thanks, Bree. How you doing? Pepsi, ASMR. Caffeine free. It ain't no Wawa Coca-Cola freestyle. And now I'm going to watch Married at First Sight, season 12. It's a really good season. And eat my food. Doubt it. Okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. I understand how you how oh, one huh. eats a cauliflower okay, so cheese Feline bite. Okay, so also tried them. She liked them. I'm about She's to not food. fucking here. No one's buying it. More. She because three exist. just wasn't enough, so I'm gonna have three more. Hello, hello. She's fucking losing her mind in this place, just binging on fucking Delta AIDS and melatonin all day. She's feeding her imaginary friend. Okay, so the popsicle stick <laughs> thing, I've been enjoying it, and I know Hasn't a lot of you have too. water in days, just caffeine-free diet Pepsi. So, um, I actually posted on my Instagram um, for you guys to send me more questions because all the ones that I have now are all weight related. So obviously I'm going to still answer the ones I haven't done, but it's just going to be a continuous loop. Wasn't that supposed to be for every pound she moves the popsicle over? Hey, Fian, thanks so much. How you doing? I'm and thank like, you everyone for uh, uh, writing on the thing that Sakura made questions, up. Questions, things to talk about. And I have for thought long and hard about getting a podcast. I'm not going to lie. Because all I feel the like lovely I yip and yap and talk and just... I literally need to talk your ear off. I'm not even lying. Like, get me in the right mood and, and my mouth won't shut. Donations, <laughs> everybody. I just don't think that I want to... Super nice of you. Mm -hmm. Unnecessary. Walk in front of the camera. I just don't think that a podcast is something that I would want to do by myself. Self, like having a co-host or maybe just like someone literally there like a host like a two hoster me and someone else rarity <laughs> um i think that would be uh, cool not, oh my god who's the fucking sucker she's gonna get to do this podcast okay i just don't know like editing or like how to get us both on the screen at the same time or like the audio and like how to sync the things up and also like i don't know what the topics would be and also uh i don't know anything about like 
uploading to the podcast places and also like about like uh i don't know if like you need to make like a title and like a logo and like a name for it uh and then like a theme opening and then also like with sponsors and stuff but i would love to be on it would totally do it but it's like there are a couple people in my life i feel like we would make a bomb well, you guys Podcast don't understand is that if Willow becomes really successful, he won't even play games anymore, so don't subscribe to him, okay? That's not true. That's not true. The gaming is the goal. Like, it would be tea, it would be drama, it would be hot topics, it would be Excuse controversial to opinions, it would be so good, but unfortunately... Literally the two falling I'm in love of, with my podcast, talk mate. To anymore, so. And the T is, one of them used to be my best friend, and another one of them used to be my ex, so I'm not even gonna say who and what and when and how, because it doesn't even... Well, I'm actually thinking of like a bomb podcast i'm not gonna lie she's like it would not, be oh my god she's not starting a fucking frenemies podcast with destiny tea it would be drama they're in be, love hot topics it would be controversial opinions like it'd be so good but unfortunately the two people i'm actually thinking of charlie fieri just subscribed sub charlie underscore fieri. riot gifted a tier one thanks sub so much fieri. i appreciate them they have given 17 gift, gift subs in the, in the chat charlie i think you posted about the rumors of an oblivion remake pretty pretty scary stuff because I, I i read some of that and it said um they said said like they put the fucking bethesda engine in unreal 5 now if that's true then they're not thinking of just one game which god no that is i don't talk to anymore so that's a and the scary tea is, thought. one of them used to be my best friend and another one of them used to be my ex so i'm not even gonna say who and what and when and how because it doesn't even matter but i'm just saying that it would be a good podcast for real for real like i really do love the <laughs> no, whole it would thing not with you guys. be a good podcast um, but i just feel like vlogs are very like everyday life you know your her podcast would be like the joe rogan experience if joe rogan was a lesbian who never left her house interesting daily life what you're doing talk about what you're doing so some topics just don't come up and like hearing what your audience wants you to talk about it definitely helps and builds. she edits her vlogs on her phone she got a dongle for her phone specifically so that she can take the sd card out of her camera and put it into her phone so that she can edit her vlogs on iMovie on her phone. She cannot run a podcast. More like topics around your channel. Hey guys, so it's like the end of the night. I should already be like in bed, melatonin in my body, but yeah, Thanks so I need to go do that. Knuckle. So I hope when you the guys melatonin enjoy this vlog. I don't even remember what I vlogged today. Running the game in parallel in an Unreal Engine version for the visuals sounds yeah that yeah that it doesn't make any sense to me. Honestly, can't remember because a damn I don't thing. know any of that stuff. <laughs> so but. hopefully, I vlogged uh stuff because i literally cannot remember if they what get I've back going they're gonna be like, like fallout thing, three and that. those were so good so i'm definitely gonna buy more everything anyways go i'm gonna go hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you my next one bye okay wow we what the fuck is that <laughs> we actually got through that somehow uh the, so there's a chance i might take like the, the reactions of me watching like the past 10 or eight or something Amberlynn videos and make it a video on YouTube. I'm not sure yet. But right now, I gotta go out to a nice uh, birthday dinner with Jamie. Hi, Dustachino. You're in a good mood today?